Whoa, whoa, whoa! It happened again! It happened again! Oh! There you are. You wouldn't hide from me, would you? Saber! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Good to see you. How's it going? How's it going? How are we all doing? Are we ready for another day of creativity? Productivity? Doing the same thing? Yeah! I knew we'd get along. I knew there was a reason we vibe. <laughs> I'm good. It's warm, but I'm still okay. Because we've got delightful heat shielding. Ah! Let's get into it! Let's go! Yeah! Oh! Oh! Not quite. Haha! <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. Now you notice, I'm not actually allowed to have the YouTube chat on the screen at the same time. I learned that yesterday. <laughs> so I hope that, uh... I hope I wasn't being too cheeky before. I didn't know. I didn't know. We're not gonna do that anymore. But I can still see you, YouTube chat. And, uh, if you can see... If you can't see me, I'm just gonna be like... Hi, YouTube. There we go. Just in case. So they know that I'm here. They know that I'm there. And anyway, what's been really great about um, uh, multi-streaming onto YouTube is not so much the engagement. Uh, although it is nice to get engagement from both platforms, don't get me wrong. I'd like if, if you are not able to use Twitch for whatever reason, I highly recommend checking out on YouTube. But it also means the VODs just go straight up. That's really nice. That's really handy. It means that all I have to do at the end of the stream is make a thumbnail, and away we go. We're off to the races. We have a living archive of the streams from now on. Over a year, not archived? Mm, sadly, yes. Sadly, yes. But from now on, into the future, there will be records. You'll be able to see and share and show me my own shame for years to come. <laughs> Unless YouTube just, you know, up and dies overnight. And, uh, you know, don't say it won't happen. Because it might. It might happen. We don't know yet. <laughs> okay. Um, well, in that case, I'm going to get straight into our warm-ups. Let's go! Osu time? Osu time. You need my pen? I got my pen. Um, I should probably change the category as well. I need a button that just does this. Search for category. Oh. All the category switching. All the category switching. I know, right? Yeah. Um. Let me see. Let me see here. Now I gotta, like, open the thing up. Turn off the music. And then wait for it to pop up. Uh, what else has been happening? I. Today I'm gonna do some sketching. We're gonna do our warm ups. Do some more poses. I've been enjoying those. I wanna get a couple more sketches near that. But we're also gonna be uh, trying to launch me on DJ. The commission service. So there might be a bit of, Journals. might be a bit of like uh, rendering of 3D models today. We'll see. If I have your permission, Saber, <laughs> to use yours to promote my services. Well, we did that one yesterday. That was the last one we did yesterday. Uh, let's do gourmet race. Let the pimps in the crib. You'll drop it like it's hot. That's it. That's nice. Testing the hand-eye coordination. Getting ourselves moving. When I was uh, working alongside a pro guitarist, he was like just, you know, strumming away backstage. I'm like, oh, nice. What you playing? He's like, oh, nothing much. Just warming up the strings. I was like, is that a thing? Do the strings need warming? He's like, no, dude. I just literally need, like, my fingers to warm up. It's, it's, it's not the string. It's just a, it's just a joke. I'm like, oh. I misunderstood. And now having played more guitar, I do understand. Sometimes the fingers need, like, a moment to just settle into what they're doing. So I'm using, like, music knowledge, martial arts knowledge, having learned a few of these things. I like to mix that all together and then see how I can apply it to art, visual, storytelling, drawing. Hell yeah, you do. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you. I got an A! That's what I normally get, I think. Oh, uh, let's move here. Last week, I did. Oh, I like Matt. I like this one. You can bring drop. I'd like to do more refitting of the ship at some point, too. I'm kind of torn between what I must do to promote my services and having a good time with you guys. Because you want to be on stream, you want to be entertaining, you want to make sure that people are getting something cool. But, as I learned yesterday, sometimes, you know, the business side helps people out. So we might do some of that today. as I was. You know, when I was doing it solo, when I was doing it off stream for months and months, in my drawing, my drawing training arc. Gravity turned up to 9,000. Yeah. <laughs> if Kakarot can do it, why not me? But then Yamcha tries and he's just like, nah, bro. Nah. Hey, Cobble Cat! Early stream? Is it? Did we change... Did you change time zones recently? Did that... Was there a daylight saving thing? Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm still streaming at my normal time. Daylight savings internationally makes it so difficult to figure out what the optimal stream time is. Because you can stream at the same time, and people will be like, you're an hour early, or you're an hour late. You're used to stopping around by 10 p.m. Ah, that could be it. That could be it. It's such a silly mechanic, right? And they say, "Oh, it's for the farmers." It it hasn't. No one likes daylight savings, <laughs> except maybe you know, clockmakers. I'm not even sure that's true. It's like, I think traditional clockmakers like don't fuck with it. It's it's fine. Just leave it alone. Hell yeah. This is a brutal show, but I really like this.
And of course I like Franz Ferdinand. I wouldn't want to go through winter without DST. Like, hello? Sun goes up at 10 a.m.? No thanks. I mean, when you go up north, like, like really far up north, there are some places that don't get any sunlight at all for like a month. I think that's re- I think that, uh... Hey, Smug. <laughs> you like daylight savings? Okay. For me, it feels like a birthday reminder from Mother Nature to get more sleep. Oh, no, Solstice is different than Daylight Savings. Such a hectic show, mostly. Right? Yeah. Uh, the other thing I know about Daylight Savings is that there's always more traffic accidents. There's like a spike in traffic accidents during Daylight Savings because everyone's readjusting. So it has tangible things that are bad about it. But I'm all in favor of celebrating Solstices. Winter solstice, summer solstice, the longest day, the shortest day, that kind of thing. That's fine. I think unless we unless we see a Pisces, what is solstice for again? Uh, solstice is, like, in summer, it's the longest day of the year, because it's more daylight. And in winter, it's the shortest day of the year, because it's got the least amount of daylight hours. And then after the solstice, it starts, you know, going, it starts reverting, like, so you bounce between them. Let's, let's Pepsi out of here. In which I could use a bit of a tapping kit. Ah. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, thank you, Carol. Yeah. Look. I think we're done. Unless Pisces are here. Unless we want to do Crab Rave. No. No, I don't think Pisces is here. I don't hear a request for Crab Rave. Move on. Okay then. See you next time. I gotta change the category. Uh, what do I mean? The, oh, that, that's Osu again. I want the art category, please. Thank you. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, let's do our regular morning art exercises and then some doodling. Because we really got carried into. Um, and it's great. It's great. I loved it. But uh, we really did. I, <laughs> I spent a bit too long doing corrections yesterday. So I didn't get all the doodling I wanted to do done. On well, French, DST makes sense at our latitude. I understand if you go near the uh, Arctic circles, your sun experience is very different. But I'm fine where I am and thankful for DST because my winter depressions would be way worse. That's fair. That's fair. I, mean, I guess we could just get up earlier. We could just... Ooh. Ooh. I'm seeing that Juen has just posted progress on their painting. Send me to the... <laughs> yeah, I think um, I think it, oh, there's a lot of creatures of the night amongst us scallywags. We like to, like, we don't like the Daystar very much. Nice work! That's weird. You're alive, I'm following you, and you don't show up at all on the left side of my screen? Uh -huh. huh. That's weird. I have gotten that a couple of times, even with the uh, streams I engage with often, like Dog Swift. Like, they'll start, and I'll have to refresh a couple of times to get them on my sidebar. I mean, it is 5 a.m. Oh my god! Okay. Oh! Thank you for the boop. Thank you for the boop. Yeah, I think maybe part of it is, like, right now we only got five, five concurrent viewers on Twitch. It's unusual for us. We usually have, like, uh, 10 to 15 in the first, like, half hour. Um, and I think Twitch is kind of spanking me for that. I think I'm getting a bit of a Twitch spanking. So it'll, it'll probably even out as we get more regulars coming in and out. Let's, uh, find our music. Anyway, hi there. Hey! Hey, Lily. <laughs> oh, we need our music. What we're going to listen to today. What am I in the mood for? Streets of Rage 4? Yeah, we can do Street. Uh... Hmm. We 
one or two streaks of rage. <laughs> Actually, let's do bloody roll. Yes. Twitch banking was my high school. <laughs> you should have been my. But oh well, thank you. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Um, I was using a thing like a, a. I think the Twitch meta changes quite a bit, and I didn't ever appear with my shirt off. So they, maybe they're punishing me for that as well. Why is my this YouTube link is not working at all? Hey, there we go. How's that volume for you guys? Is that okay? Can you hear it? Helpless fan, hello. <laughs> That's because I didn't. I didn't. Volume's good? Excellent. Alright. Let's get these done. The meta. Now. <laughs> So I've explained these a few times already this year, but I'm glad that I did, because that means that those videos, those are going to be up for people to look at now. They can follow along, they can get explanations, we can be like, hey, you can refer to that clip. I might actually edit them into their own video, so people can understand why I do these things every day. Ooh, that's quite smooth. I must be feeling energized, but relaxed, collected, calm. noise because it varies day to day some days you have good performance days sometimes you have bad performance days but we don't want to like pay attention to the uh wobblings of like day to day we want to look at the grand like the overall like the full year of development that's how it works because up close that'll look like this morning coppers yeah Being able to draw confident lines. Ooh! I think I got a little excited. Nice. Not bad. Ah, yeah, I messed up on that one, I can tell. Alright, circles. Yeah, I think good shoulder control today. Gotta remember to have my creatine. I didn't have my creatine this morning. I usually mix it in with my cereal. I didn't have cereal for breakfast. I woke up late. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault! Circle time. Hey, Vixie! How's it going today? What you up to? Circle and circle and circle. Ba bum bow. Ba ba bow. Ba -la -ba -la -ba -la. So Sabin, did I hear a? Did I get a whisper that you had considered what kind of music would be good for a theme for me? Working through some cool art books. Ooh, nice. What kind of art books do you have? Which ones are you looking at today? And will you be following along with the circles? I am indeed working. What? Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> I'm excited for that. One point perspective. Can't wait to hear it. I don't think I've heard any of your music before, so I'll be excited. And like, you've spent enough time on the stream to hear what my taste is in music, so I, I'm guessing that you, that we share it a little bit, at least. Taco point. Oh, Tucker character. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, that's the one I always recommend people look at, so good job. Saber musician? Saber music? Yeah, yeah. Saber's a, a guitarist. 
and probably more than that, but that's one of the things we wanted to outline when we were working on his VTuber model. One point perspective. Two point perspective now. How fast can we get through it? That perspective point's actually there. Bam. Whoa. That looks about right. Yep. Bam. Bam. There's a couple of exercises by Spencer Juan that I should probably be doing. Because I went to his uh, online um, his webinar that he did, and he had like one where he was, hey, do a perspective grid on the ground, and then do one on the top, on the ceiling, and make sure that the points touch properly. So sort of like what I'm doing here, but with like a whole grid. And it looked insane, but if anyone knows about his perspective, it's Spencer. You know, the Castlevania guy. Powerhouse animation in general, Spider-Verse, those kinds of projects. Three point. I've been trying to learn uh, drum theory. So I've been like drumming along with keyboard controls. And it keeps asking me, hey, do you want to plug your drum kit in? I'm like, ah, I don't have one. Ah. But realistically, what I should be purchasing for the studio next is um, a treadmill. Because, you know, Satan tried to grab me one off a of throne. And they were like, it's been delivered. I'm like, no, it hasn't. No, it, no, it hasn't. Sirak! Ayo! How's it going? It's been a while. What you working on today? We doing our perspective warm-ups. Then maybe drawing some pretty ladies. I'm working on myself. Ooh, new model. How am I? I'm alright. Just sort of, you know, finding my footing for the year. I think this is... Week three? We saw we multi-streaming to YouTube. Got that done. Got a lot of like little tidy up things, little uh you No know, like fitness and stuff. Oh yeah yeah, I've been uh, I've been doing gym recently quite a bit. Working on my arms, working on my core. Uh I want to get back into ring fit as well. That's a good supplemental exercise. And it gives you all kinds all the kinds of like good feedback that you need for good encouragement. Uh, I forgot to take my creatine supplement this morning though, so I'm going to have to squeeze that in at some point today. I can't guarantee... Like, I've just been recommended it by some other gym buddies, so... I'm not making a recommendation to it, I'm just saying, like, that's what I'm supposed to be doing at the moment, according to them. I should do actual VR, then just watching 3D movies. <laughs> you know what I gave a little test yesterday? This might be exciting, I don't know if it is or not. I tried the mod for Lethal Company in VR. It's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I didn't play it with anyone, because I was literally just, like, loaded up, tested out. Um, I wouldn't try that! <laughs> yeah, pretty scary. Pretty scary. Especially when I had to turn some mods off, because the first time I loaded it, my arms loaded, like, way above my own head. I won! <laughs> I think even the game would turn... Oh, you haven't played it, Smug! It can be scary. But, like, if you're playing with a bunch of goobers, like, if you play it with Estrella... Estrella is like, I'll go in raw dog style. I'm just going to grab stuff. They know the patterns. So it can be kind of funny that way. But it does have its moments. Especially when you're in a smaller crew. So awesome, you're still doing your art training. Your perspective is probably insane. Well, I wouldn't say it's insane, but 
you know, I'm at that point of the Dunning-Kruger effect where I'm like, I understand how little I know and how much more I need to do to practice. Oh, I love this track. I think this is fighting on the aircraft carrier. Alright. Most of my friends are in North America from Europe, so it means playing while my parents are sleeping, which, no. Ah. That's not the game's fault, though, is it? Are you worried that you'll scream and wake up your parents? Let's do a really, really long rectangle today. Push that perspective. Bah. Even talking would bother them? Ah, yeah. You do need to talk. I guess you could type, but your hands might get full. You might be trying to type, Ah, oh, watch out, there's a spider. And that's it. That's, that's your last words before the spider gets you because you were typing. My French birds aren't really the type to play scary games. Really? I wonder why that is. Long, long boy. Look at that. Because we get along on the basis of being small, little, fragile beings. Ah, just little guys. Just little guys. We can draw our, our little guy in here. Cute little thing. <laughs> they look fragile, but they kind of they're kind of scary. Like, one of them's got a wormhole in her belly. And like what was the hurricane centaur thing called? That was terrifying, but also really cool. Because it sang with the harmonies. No fragile things this is Oh right! The tornado. Oh yeah, I love the tornado. That sure has got a, is a wild time. Also, the guy in it, Comfortable Doug, he's from that vine of the dude of the dude going. Does this mean she's a she's a party pooper? Does this mean she she poops with the door open at parties? I love it with all my. <laughs> so you can go from vine to like a career. Maybe he was already on his way to a career, and Vine was just there. I think I eyeballed some of these a bit loosely, which is why this perspective is kind of falling apart. That's a bit better. Yeah. them up properly. That's my bad. That's a good demonstration of how it can mess up. How to know when you do Because so many people do this practice perfectly and they're like, it's just like that. And then people do it imperfectly and they go, well, I did it, right? I'm like, mm-mm. Some stuff's not lining up. You have to cleanse. You have to cleanse! Lou the Borg, the VA of Console Dog, has 83 titles in it. That's a lot! That's a lot of titles. Okay. Done with our little perspective warm-up. Uh, let's, let's doodle a little. I got some stuff I want to try and draw. Flula Borg. That is a very German name. I had a friend called Borg. He might have been a robot, I'm not sure. 
I thought it would be impolite to ask. One of those titles seemed to be appeared on Smosh. <laughs> Isn't that weird when YouTube series, just like YouTube sketches, appear on IMDb as like TV series? I find it kind of weird. I don't. I'm not saying it's illegitimate, but it's just it's very strange when you're going through. Okay, they were shot in a movie. Uh, they were on this Netflix series. They were on U YouTube series. What? Hey, Corbin. Welcome aboard. Watercolor? That might be. Same with talk shows. I mean, I guess at least a talk show aired on a network. But now they've in introduced YouTube series. It's like, now there's like, uh, how do you evaluate which ones go in IMDb? Because there's so many people out there who could be like, yo, I was on YouTube once, and IMDb's probably like, we can't have all of you on here. <laughs> There's got to be some, some kind of, like, standard, like, cutoff point. We do seek to create context. And review channels. Did you like? Did you see the list featuring some major movie like Titanic? And go, oh, he was in Titanic. No, he was in a podcast episode that talked about. Titanic. <laughs> oh yeah, like the freaking um, the mother loving guy who made Big Mouth, which is you know a show he made because his daddy's famous, I think. But Big Mouth had like one of their voice actors win an Emmy, unrelated to their work on the show, and then they started saying. Emmy award winning show, Big Mouth. I'm like, no, what? slow the fuck down, motherfucker. That's not how that works. You didn't win an Emmy. Someone you pay to work for you won an Emmy. That's not your Emmy. But that's it. Yeah, that whole show and the producer of it is a yikes. I used to make fun of the art style of that show. Then I saw a picture of the guy who made it and I'm like, oh, he just looks like that. I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting is this. That's the correct way to approach it. That's why I stopped watching stuff like Ellis Mark, because he's like, I'm going to do five hours of analysis on why Big Mouth isn't very good. And I'm like, I don't, I, I already know it's not good. Stop giving it attention. I mean, he has a receding chin and a big forehead. I think it's kind of like that he looks greasy and he's got... Like, he has eyes that shine the same way as the characters in the show. He just looks greasy. I have a friend who always wants me to watch videos like, yeah, what do you tell them? But anyway, that was me saying, like, I, I actually felt bad for making fun of the characters from sure, because I realized he was just drawn... Well, I don't know, someone was being ordered to draw like that. It's, it's not a... it's not an appealing style. Anyway, I'm... that's... 
I don't need a four hour video of someone screaming with <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think uh I think we can agree to be kind of done with that for for a hot minute. There's already so much to be upset about in the world. I don't need more reasons. Boss battle music for sure, right? Brew. Much rather watch someone talk about why they love stuff. When... Yeah, that's when I used to like uh, stuff like the Nostalgia Critic, is when he would actually be like, I'm remembering this really cool thing, and I'd be like, oh, snap! I would either be like, I remember that, and that's a cool thing, and I'm gonna go and, like, watch that now, because I'd forgotten about it. Or... He'd be like, here's a cool thing, and I'd be like, I've never heard of that. I'm gonna go check it out. But then, you know, <laughs> now it's just incomprehensible screaming every episode. Or it was, for a bit. I think maybe he's changed it up again, but... Or, like, trying real hard to not grow as a creator, but also expand what he does as a creator. One of my friends now makes fun of me because my reaction to his whole uh, thing about shooting one of the um, anniversary videos was like, Wait, you weren't going to hire craft services. You were going to go to the desert. What were you going to eat, dog? What was it? What was going to happen? And that's a common thing with um, YouTubers who got like, you know, part of that first wave of fame. They don't consider those practical practicalities in production, but they also don't want to hear from people that they might need to change how they approach things, because they're like, oh no, I've got the success, I must be doing something right, I therefore, you know, should be in charge. Which sometimes is true, but you do have to, like, when you move to a different style of production, you absolutely have to take into account that you are starting to do something new. I like James Rolfe, talks about old horror movies, and he has childlike excitement. Yeah! Yeah, since the whole re the review must go and I couldn't really vibe with it. Though it took me a while to realize that. Mmm. He really wants to direct movies, but... Um... It's hard when you're in that position as well to get... Uh, tr like, reasonable criticism. And I think that might be a big part of what's, uh... What's happened there, is because when you're on the internet, the hate train just happens. And all of the legitimate criticism gets completely drowned out by, like, people who just want to hate on you. But then, compared to Linkara, he had a pretty good reaction to, like, Ernie Plays doing a voice of him. He's like, I think it's funny, sir. Either someone's pulling his strings to be like, be cool with it, or manage your emotions, or he actually is just genuinely kind of, like, a relaxed dude. Patrick A. Willems. I don't know that one. I enjoyed Doug's videos where he enjoyed- yeah, when he loves on something. Or well, like, the Nostalgia Critic did, uh, no, the Video Game Nerd did a video about Final Fantasy 3 or 6 the other week, and he just loved on it and described how, how much joy it gave him, and I was like, this is, fa this is great. More of that, please. I don't need to look very far to be made to feel bad. I'd like to look at something and be, like, reminded that life is okay sometimes. That there's things out there to look forward to. Because there's not always obvious things to look forward to. The NC persona being very, I don't like things, made it, so I like the Doug Reviews episodes more like, oh yeah. I could see that. And like, it has to be said, for a while there, he was doing, like, the internet thing. He, he had, like, he managed himself really well through a lot 
of like the early YouTube BS, like um, several adpocalypses and like being content struck off of the platform before eventually returning. But then of course, when it turns into like most of the review is reenacting the movie, I'm like, this is not a review anymore. Or a review in name only. And I find it like just so typical of um, millennial slash Zuma media to be primarily focused on reconsuming media that other people have produced. Because we can't fuck, we can't get the same like place to the same place to make our own stuff. We have to like keep rehashing the same shit that was uh, made when we were kids. The newer NC stuff, I don't watch his older reviews before he came back. I prefer his older reviews before he came back. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the consensus. Yeah, I never liked the whole let's make fun of it by recreating it on a budget. Yeah, because. A, that's kind of... If you can recreate it on a budget, that's kind of, uh, punching down. But also, sometimes his recreations are even more cringy than the actual thing. I wanna re- I got no hate for Doug. I think, uh... I think he's done pretty well, and I don't think he's responsible for all the bad stuff that happened. I think he's a victim of, uh, you know, there not being a plan for him to get that big. And that can be really, like, destructive to someone if they're not prepared for it. In showbiz, they kind of, like, have a structure for that a little bit. They still take advantage of you, but they're like, hang on, check the eager, here's what we gotta do. No one was around for Doug to do that. Most times, I'd say, yeah. I just like Doug doing his thing. Yeah, it's not that you don't like those people, it's just that that's not the- f that's- they're not why you started showing up. Did I hear smatterings that, like, they were bringing back, um, demo tape or whatever it was? Were they gonna try that again? Because if he can get it right this time, I'd be- I'd be down to give him a shot, but... Oh man, it was bad last time. This ain't it, Chief. Going for kind of a Tinkerbell thing over here, but it's not quite working. Maybe I need to just like treat it more like a regular pose. I think maybe I need to stick to this pencil for a while, because this seems to be like forcing me to be a bit more defined. Less ambiguity. Oh damn, demo reel. That's when Rachel was still. <laughs> what about Lindsay Sterling? Oh no, sorry, Lindsay Ellis. Damn, I sh that's not a mistake I want to make. I watched a video about the Beatles recently on Nebula. It was really good. It was a cozy, comfy, good time. Starting with a line of action would be good. I kept wondering if she was the nostalgia chick for. Yep. She was, though. And she'll never escape that, like, one gif of the hot dogs flying at her face. But I think she's okay with that. I think that's the least of her concerns. They've tried to cancel her so many times for just unfair reasons. Like, oh no, thing come out, thing bad, bad opinion. It's not a reason to dox or harass or threaten someone with death threats. I think we're going to see a lot of that with Pal World 2. 
Don't think I want to go back into that whole can of worms. What else is that? I do like. I I have to admit I have laughed at some of the parodies of Linkara. <laughs> Not all of them I think are earned, but some of them are very like difficult to keep a straight face on with. The pal worth it. Yeah, it just keeps it keeps seeming to get like worse and worse. Like on one hand, I'm like, oh yeah, these models like are clearly either heavily, heavily referenced or ripped directly from Pokemon. And then on the other hand, the person posting was like, I'm doing this because I don't like how Pal will glorifies violence in animals. I'm like, hang on, that's not exactly the most clear motive in the world. Because like Pokemon kind of does the same thing, but Pal World sort of just like makes it, puts it in a different setting. A few years ago, I got really into Obscurus Lupus Baywatch videos, and they are fun. She really has a fun talking, has done talking about the cheesiness of Baywatch. Ah, yeah, it's like I found this video series a while back, and I hate w the movie Waterworld with a burning passion. I was I was burned by someone making me watch Waterworld, and um, <laughs> there's this 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 channel where this guy loves Waterworld so much he's read all three different editions he could find of the novelization. Uh, he's got, like, I think some of the props. He's super into it, but I love his videos and the way he talks about it. I have my own story about why I hate it. Oh, really? This ain't working. Ah, fucking window with that. I don't know what it is, but it's fun to hear people rant about their passions. It's the passion. And I think that for a while there, we were just like, yeah, cynicism. It tends to go in waves. But there's so much of it that we need a, we need a refresher. Ideally, we have a good balance where there's like, not necessarily cynicism, but like, at, uh, like, appliable criticism to things that are not the way they should be. And hope that they can be. But at the moment, we just got so much cynicism and so much vitriol in the world. And, like, mechanisms for spreading that vitriol far outweigh the ones we have of spreading hope and joy. I've been very fun watching Pirate Software go from Please never, please compare the monster designs from Dragon Quest and Pokemon. You'll be surprised. Everything is a remix. Stop <laughs> Cry wasting your time crying. Yep, yep. No, I'm down with that. When I thought it was just the monster designs, I was like, so what? So, so what? They did the job of actually, like, designing different, like, variants, at least. If they get sued, that's their problem. Uh, I can- you can... Oh! I'm so happy about a coloring book. There's also a- a tra- WHOA! AMBERLOCK! AMBERLOCK! WHOA! What the- What is happening there? Welcome in, Ambala! How's it going? What were you working on? I snoozed the ads! Welcome in, Raiders and Ambala. How was your stream? What were you up to? Feel free to share with us. Do you have art tax to share? Do you have gaming stories to tell? What the? Oh! It's a special delivery from Danko Talaria! We got a double raid! Oh my gosh! Working out of friends, villain. Can Whoa! <laughs> Thank you so much! Wolf boys! Wolf boys! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, wait! That's interesting! Ah, oh, the cannon redeem went back to its regular price. Oh, thank you for the gift sub! And congratulations, Ambalak, you're in the Fen Pie now. Welcome to the crew. Yeah, we were just talking about uh, all kinds of different stuff. 
doing some artwork. Uh, how was your stream? And Block was telling us that they were doing um, some villain AU artwork. <laughs> I scream. <laughs> yeah. It was cool playing Lethal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got to play Lethal with with Danker and uh, some of the other some of the other S3 people. Artax, yes. I don't know. Don't know if uh, I don't know if Danker's got Artax, but holy. Now that, that is a hoppy lad, right? Amazing. And like, the detailing you've got is incredible. The long, pointed nails. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> nice one. What were you up to, Danker? What are you, what what kind of deliveries were you making? It makes me want to color it. Ooh. Do I sense a collab? Do I sense a collab coming on? You've really paid attention to like, um... Predator bird, like raptor feet. That's really good. I can see the observation coming through. So, if you were trying for that, good job. You nailed, you nailed it. Working on color next stream? You're playing Devil May Cry? Whoa! The first one? The fir oh, that's a good soundtrack. We should play that soundtrack after this one. Still so for a second chance. These are lines I like to call tasty. Yeah, yeah. We're just freeform sketching at the moment. I'm planning on doing some uh, rendering later. Right? So clean. Very clean. Very clean. And, like, check out the line widths as well. They've got different amounts of detail, depending on where they want your attention to go. Of course, because the lines of the face are, like, densely packed and thin, your attention goes to the face. Then it can spread further out to the wings. The first, it's the first experience with the series! Damn, dude! I would actually recommend starting with the third one, but, um, the first one's pretty good, too. Uh, don't... Don't play the second one. Just don't. Save yourself the trouble. Skip it. <laughs> Everyone was out that day. Call in sick. <laughs> yeah, but how are you enjoying it? Like... Dante's a pretty cool character. He's like, he's edgy, but he's edgy in a way where it's like, yeah, he's, he kind of knows and embraces it, but doesn't make a huge deal out of it. He's kind of a relaxed sort of edgy. I'm play- Oh! Oh, I see, I see. How are you- Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, you mean you're gonna play the second one? Okay. That's fair. You do whatever you want. This is just my personal recommendation. But I when you play number three, let me know, because that's, that's an old favorite of mine. Hate to raid and run, gotta go to work in the morning. Oh, thank you! Enjoy the... Enjoy your rest. Cry's not only gonna play TNC. Also, like... Uh, as much as I don't like the characterization of Dante in uh, DMC, like the, the Western-style remake, the level design's really good. Like, the visuals in the levels? Really good. Um, I need to get back to playing Devil May Cry 5, because I started it, and we didn't finish it. It's tough. And I haven't even gone up to the part where you actually play as Dante. We're still stuck on Nero. Anyway, that's that's enough about my opinions. I will be playing them all. Haha. <laughs> nice, nice. What what brought you onto the series? Did someone like request, or do you just like uh, do you just grab a franchise and go? I'm gonna learn this. And I did play a bit of DMC and DMC 5. Oh, nice, nice. We got an ad coming in, by the way. Let me just put the warning on. And of course, uh, Danko, if you need to raid and run, do the self-care thing, please feel free to do so. And that counts for all you raiders, but if you guys decide to stick around, make yourselves comfortable. We're going to be doing art, and we're going to be doing some business stuff. Business man. I'm a business man. Definitely not a cop. Uh, I was requested, and then you flex his gift. Oh, you pretty much have to, then, yeah. <laughs> so now it is my duty. I. <laughs> well, congrats on all your deliveries. And thank you for bringing everyone over. Can't wait to hear what you think of the series all up. 
I'm gonna grab food and chill in the back. Hey, pull up a pull up a, a stasis pod. I'll keep them. I'll keep them company. How'd you guys enjoy Devil May Cry? What did what did the danker what did the delivery dogs think? I actually don't know what you call your. I, I can't remember what you call your fans. What you, you call your viewers. If there is a name. Some people have a name. I like to, I like to give them a name. What am I looking for here? Ad break! Coming on. Watch out for them ads. You might get one, you might not. And ads won't be over, might be over for you, but they might not be for everyone. But on YouTube, I don't think, uh, I don't think it works the same way. I'm not sure how it works. Whoops! Oh, the whoops. Good. Gotcha. Woof, woof. Or clients? Oh, yeah. The male recipients. I'm trying to get back my, uh, my ability to just kind of render figures without much, uh, under sketch. I miss being able to do that. And I think I'll apply a style study as well. There we go. That's one of the things that's fascinating to me about Spider-Man, is that they have all these crazy poses, and they make them all work somehow. It's actually really impressive figure work, from an illustration standpoint. To make the characters all spidery. Oh, need to put some metal turn in my body. Okay! Uh, I love... Oh, oh. Okay, Finn, I need to put some alternative in my body. Oh, this powder doll you have on the left. Oh? <laughs> Thank you. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you! Big love to you too, Sirok. Hope we can hang out again soon. Gives me powered up doll vibes. Oh, yeah, this one? I'm not sure I like these proportions. I want to try, like, something with, like, more flared out, uh. Ink. I don't know. So like what flared out um, lower parts of the leg. Let's hang out again. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm very busy this week, but hopefully once my uh, it's it's ironic because I'm busy not having commissions, and when I get a commission, I'll be able to manage my time better. But what I mean by busy not having commissions is I'm busy like doing all the paperwork to open again. <laughs> And that's how it works sometimes. It's very strange. Hoping to do more 3D characters. Hoping to... I'm going to have to do some 3D character renders today. Alright, get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good night, good night. Sleep well. That doesn't mean it's pretty late for you as well, huh, Smug? Ads are over! I'm making a house in Blender, and I can think of how much be easier it would be to make it the sim. Oh damn! Uh, you'd probably be interested in one of the plugins I've been using then, because I found it real easy with these two to start doing hard surface modeling. I'll probably look into that later uh, later today if you want to stick around. Plug it, yeah. Plugins, add-ons—they're all good. You want to use the add-ons. Make your life easier. They've made my life so much easier. Stuff I thought I'd have to spend like 20 hours doing, I just now do in a couple of clicks. It was- I woke up two hours ago? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, this isn't you at the wrong end of the day, this is you starting off much earlier than- than a lot of people might. Gotcha. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm 
add a bit more 3D to these, huh? Yeah. What else are we doing today? Um, I want to continue with the Lycos refits. I am double... I am thinking about what uh, some people have said about, you know, I could work on my new character model on stream. There's so much of me that's like, I want to do a big reveal. And then another part of me that's like, this is never going to happen if I don't find a more reasonable way of, like, putting the work in on it. It's, it's a conundrum. What did I do yet? Let me have a look at what I did yesterday. Oh, right, the cursed cat. Oh, these ones. These turned out really nice. I like some of these. Uh, what else I got? Yeah, I did a bunch of, like, wireframes and stuff. Oh, that sword one's pretty nice. Ah, uh, and the corrections. Yeah, that was pretty nice. I liked, I enjoyed working on that one. I'm just demonstrating the color scheme. And of course, this is coming along, I've seen. Yeah, and then, that's pretty, that's all we did yesterday, okay. Well, we're coming up on... How long has it been? Yeah, now an hour and a quarter. I'll do this a bit longer, and then we'll have to try and switch to uh, some rendering stuff. Ooh. There's a manga car, because I watch a lot of the... Um, have you guys ever heard of uh, Manben? There's a show called Manben, which, you know... The kanji is manga benkyo, like the study of manga, and it's this uh, former manga artist going around and like interviewing, and uh, you know, show shining a light on the studios. A lot of contemporary mangaka. It's really cool. And one of them, um, what point was it going to make? There's even like a couple of guys who are in their fifties who just like make manga all by themselves, and they find all these like little shortcuts and techniques that they do to try and, like, bring down their production uh, speed. Bring this production speed up. Bring their labor costs down. And one of them has uh, a studio where he's got his whole bunch of friends, and he's got a, a letter on the wall that says, May there never be silence in this workplace. <laughs> Man, I can't tell. Yeah, it happens. We can have a bit of a chill music time. That's fine. Just to encourage everyone to like keep chatting, keep it lively, because that's where they spend most of their lives all up. I can understand. That's why you guys being here with me makes this so much better. You're bringing me something every day. An opportunity to hang out with my buddies, with my crew. This sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah, let me, uh, I think there's a website where you can go and find them. Let me look up. Manben, Behind the Scenes of Manga with Urasaki Naoki. Urasawa Naoki. TV series 2014. Oh, there's just like... Yeah, yeah, there's... there's. Ooh. I found all Naoki... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I found a 10 R1. Yeah, I just found that one, but... It, it, it looks legit. There's two seasons as well. But yeah, if you like them, um, they're a really good insight into how different manga artists are approaching stuff. I actually got to talk to uh, someone at Celsius a few years ago, like the Clip Studio maker. like, um, 
they were really helpful to me when I was trying to release my stuff in Japan. When I was doing uh, I was doing one of the big comic shows over there. And um, he actually said to me, Oh yeah, um, we've spoken directly with um, the guy who makes Shokugeki no Soma because he's, he's pure digital. He's one of the mangaka who's only using digital stuff. He's not using any traditional hand-drawn stuff. Which you often see, especially because mangaka tend to be, like, middle-aged and, and older. Um, they tend to rely on, like, traditional techniques that were, have been used from the 80s. So he's a, he's a notable exception in that he's all pure clip studio. And I've seen how he draws. It's real cool. Like, he'll be getting out, uh, for an eye, he'll get out, like, an actual circle tool, and then bend it into the perspective. Really good. That's why it's so precise looking. Ooh, ooh, what's that one? What's that one say? <laughs> Thank you, Carmel Cat. You having a good time? You having a good time together? We've got some problems to solve, lady. You guys gonna help? You guys gonna be my... My rubber duck? My sounding board? Whatever it is? Thanks, Saber. <laughs> Very engaged, for sure. Yeah. I'm glad. I get worried that sometimes these ones are a little boring. But then people are like, No, I looked away for a minute and there's art now! And, like, you know, it happens sometimes. That's the way it works. You work on it a little bit at a time, and then eventually it just pops into life. Let's see. Okay. This is very cute music, too. Time to draw cute girls. Yeah, the uh, plugins I was talking about earlier, if Vixie is still in the chat. Um, Hard Ops Box Cutter. Those are the two that I'd recommend for hard surface modeling. That's the two I've been recommended the most for hard surface modeling. And they, learning how they work, again, has like, that's how I was able to block out so much with the Lycros last time without even really thinking about it. I thought I'd be content doing like grease pencil sketches, but that took longer than using these. I was, I was totally not looking at the sim The Sims! Oh my gosh. You'll be gone forever. I'm coding at the same time, so... Ooh! No, that, that's fine. Be coding. Be working. I need to do some coding soon. I've got a new module that I want to use to manage uh, sound effects redeems so that I don't have to manually code them in each, each time. I can just add them as I see fit. Um, but by the time I'm ready to, like, put it in, it's stream time. It's already stream time. We could do game dev streams. Maybe we should make a habit of those as well. I'm real happy about having uh, late night gaming streams on Saturdays with, with buddies. That's been really nice. I'd watch those. I won't lie, I was previously in a couple of gaming matches and had to call it because I kept up looking over and going, voluntarily distracted. <laughs> I'm glad that I can be that voluntary distraction for you. There it is. Sometimes a franchise, a video game franchise like Yoshi's Island getting more entries just means high quality remixes of songs we like from the original. So I don't think they've managed to make a game 
that's on the same level as even the 64 version. Hmm. Yeah, I want to try style thing. Let me just expand these out so that we have more room to work on them. I thought I'd be doing a lot of different figures, but it looks like I'm just going to focus on these two for a hot minute, if you'll bear with me. <laughs> I think these need to be less, yeah. There we go. Now I can kind of picture where everything needs to go without being distracted by the original line art. Sometimes I try to make conscious decisions about style, and sometimes I like to let it just roll out however it's going to be. But I think it's good to try and have a mixture of both, to see where you intuitively tend to lapse toward. Oh my gosh! Containment Breach! Dino Dog Raid! Oh! Hello! Oh my god! Open fire, Skellywags! That's right, that's right. Oh boy. <laughs> Welcome Raiders! How's it going? Ray, what stuff were you drawing today? Field report! Tell us all about it. Tell us all about it! So many raids today, holy crap. And also, like, I'm noticing, since the Windows update, pushing buttons on my controller doesn't just affect my overlay, it affects, like, there's keyboard operations going on. Final Fantasy XV Commission! Nice, setting up the grayscale, hell yeah. We're just doing some some sketching. We've got like a, I think, I think this is turning into like a girl with a fairy companion or something. Do we get art tax? I'd love to see. Yeah, just have to transfer from iPad. Beautiful. And of course, uh, welcome to the Raiders. If uh, you, and including Ray, need to jump off quickly to get your self self cared for, then please please feel free to do so. But if you feel like sticking around, make yourselves comfortable. Especially if you're new here, let us know if you'd like a tour of the ship. That raid intro is not it's not the only thing we got going here. <laughs> hey, Caramel, what's up? What's that mean? Yeah. Evil! Evil! Oh no. What have I done? Hoping someone asks for a tour? Ah, yes. Wait, what are you planning if they ask for a tour? Are you gonna pelt me with bits in the middle of it? Oh, I seem to be doing a new thing with the... with the eyelashes. I wonder where I let that. I don't know if I'm copying something or not. I must have seen that done somewhere. 
Oh! Kasana! <laughs> Thank you for the bits! Ouch. But that would be very funny. <laughs> yeah, hit him! Yeah, you got me. You got me. I've been gutted. God, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I won't change it then. I won't, uh, I won't take that off. Or, like, make it into a less chaotic thing. If I do change it, I should obviously change it to be more chaotic, right? Art tax is right. Yeah, let's go! Hey. Oh. 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 What? What? Oh. Oh, okay. All right. It's phasing through my body. Cool. I'm sure that... Is that going to be a problem? Am I supposed to... I'm not supposed to. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do if it phases into my body. <laughs> Let's see that Arctex. <gasps> Just need to texture some stuff in the paint. Ooh. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Oh my gosh, this is so good! I love this. And, like, we were going over yesterday how grayscaling before you do color work is absolutely the way to go. And this is a perfect demonstration of that. God, this is clean! Well done. I love this. That is neat. Yeah! Like, the little, like, you can really see the attention to detail in stuff like the way the leather stresses across the hands, because most people will just be content to draw the leather. And then be like, it just, it's just, it just looks like hands. But no, there's some, like, stresses there. There's some points of tension. Especially across this area. Is that... That's a chocobo, I think. That's nice. If you take grayscale from me, I don't know how to color anymore! <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're in early stages of drawing today. We're probably not going to get to that stage with this one. I'm just sort of noodling and trying to get my, my feet wet again, you know? Uh, but we will be doing some 3D rendering later of some character models, because I gotta put some stuff up on VGen. And if we're doing that, we may as well look at refitting the Lycos. It's at the point where I wish I could be done with all this stuff already so we could just goof off on stream, but... I also- I need to stream because I think I'm getting spanked by the algorithm for not having streamed for too long. Canoodoodling! Yeah! And I'm trying to get better at that uh, technique of just, like, roughing stuff out really roughly and then coming in and detailing super, like, super cleanly. I want less time spent on the actual, like, uh, you know, working up to the finished thing. I'm trying to grow. I want that Kim Young Gi energy. You know, just like, whoa, now it looks like that. That comes with understanding, concentration. It's very hard to do on stream, actually. Specifically on stream. I did okay yesterday. I'm looking as I mean, some dude can't wait to see this perspective work. Oh, thank you. I did some stuff as well yesterday. Check that out. A lot of these just went from, like, that sketch to detail. So I think I'm getting better. Oh my. Don't tell Twitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hog. <laughs> Thank you. I think the music's actually helping with the soft mood I'm going for. And like, paying attention to how the muscles and, and the skin would interact.
every little line helps us to suggest depth and contour. So we've got to take that into account. Don't waste any lines. Hey, Satoshi! Welcome on board. How's your day going? gonna put her in. What are we gonna make her wear? Gotta wear something. Hmm. Fashion time. What about a jacket maybe? Something delicate and fancy. Oh that could be fun too. Been okay, I finished a comp and I've been noodling on other projects all day. Ah, yes. The grazing on other projects. I've been there. Shuji! Yokoso, kono san kanbi. Seems cute as well, huh? Hmm. things today. Yeah, good. We're doing some more sketches. Just trying to get into shape. Fight and fit again, you know. I think it's going pretty well. I'm nowhere near uh, Inumai Inanis, which is, all, which is one of my goals. She's incredible. Gosh, to be able to draw like that. I went to go visit my family today. We've mostly been relaxing. Nice. Good relaxing day with the fam. I hope. Nice to see him. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Been a while since I saw mine. What with me being out here in space. I hope they're doing okay. Like a crown of some kind. Or like a Sailor Moon thing. <laughs> I think it wants to cut a corner there. Yeah, yeah. stuff, in fact. Thank you all for indulging me the other day when I just did nothing but thumbnails of my own streams. Now I've been doing them off-stream, like, just after the stream, I will take a minute to just go and make some thumbnail. Have you guys checked out the thumbnails on the YouTube channel yet? I, I'm still new to making thumbnails. And I hear that's like a big part of what makes the YouTube magic happen. But then again, these days, let's be real, it's probably about shorts, right? Yeah, so when I was browsing. Hey, thank you. I want to write the line between being like clickbaity and actually having the content that it says on the <laughs> on the uh, thumbnail itself. 
because I will actually have the content that I put on that thumbnail. But you kind of, you know, they kind of recommend you do the marketing thing. Er, oh, yeah, I do need to add a command for that, you're right. That way the comms one should be working. Oh, that's not the right command. There we go. Honestly, I think so too. The thumbnail is this thing I liked in the early days of YouTube. Yeah. Back in the days. The far off year of 2015. They're floundering, apparently, against TikTok. But TikTok and YouTube Shorts aren't really paying creators very much, so... What are you gonna do? You can't, like, beg people to use it and then be like, but we won't pay you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna seal that one up for now. Say bye bye to the sketch. Did I save? Yeah, I did. Let's open the Blender. Actually, I'll open VGen. Because I need to know what I need to have it open on VGen. Yeah. All this swipe next video stuff is just ADHD as hell, as I call it. It's one of the reasons I uninstall TikTok. I only go on it on desktop, not to get distracted, right? I specifically really like the color choices in your thing. Let's grab some of the chips with the salty eyes. Oh, thank you. I did my best. So, you know, ride the line there. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 ba. Oh, it's a different one. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Perspective one is great. The others are a bit overstimming me. <laughs> I see. I think the perspective one is probably like the least like grabby of the bunch because like you can probably see it from here. Let's go to my channel. Yeah, yeah, that one. If you're looking at it at this resolution, it's fine. But if you're looking at it any smaller, the other ones. And, wait, there's actually some views here. What? I've been getting views. Not a lot, but like a couple. A beginning? Hmm. I should make a generic one that I have at the beginning of every stream. That way it doesn't say January 16th. Okay. Um. So. I'm gonna go into Blender. Bring up with the Blender. Blender? Yes. Oh. I've had played enough games since the last time I opened Steam that Blender's not automatically there. That's a first. Oh yeah, and that's because last night I was uh trying out Steam VR Lethal Company. Oh boy. Uh, software? There we go. Thing about having many VTubers on your Steam library is you can see like nine people running VTube Studio through Steam. 
time to sip sip. Okay, so Saber, I think I'm gonna get get yours, get your model, and put it in a pose. Um I wonder if I can find a free to use guitar and just put you with that. If that'd be okay. Put you in like a guitar playing pose. Uh, do you actually have any footage of you using the model? Because that might help. Open. Do whatever you wish, get. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Saber. Here we go. Number 94. Sadly, I don't have to wait to record. Oh, that's a shame. I'll figure something out. What? Why are you... Where's your material? You were specifically supposed to have a material. Maybe I... Maybe I moved something? I do got to get going, but I wish you the best of luck in prepping for you. Oh, thank you, Shuji! I'll do my best. Yeah, what happened to the shader? What's going on? Why isn't it in... Oh, that's weird. I'll go searching now. Work. Blunder. Uh, wait. Did I leave it in the main... It's not there. Oh, I think I know what happened. I archived my work from last year, so it might be in the work archive. I'll just grab it. I gotta remember not to do that with uh, textures that are in progress. Yeah, yeah, found it. So just make sure that we put that in the same Blender folder. Don't save. Bakes are both ranking. That's good. Probably weren't need those today, though. Blender. Let's go. Let's go. This time it should just load automatically. No. All right. I'll hook it up manually, and then it'll be like. Do I knew it was there the whole time. Hang on. Is it? Is it just not connected? What's happening? Oh wait, this isn't even the right material. Saber base. Thank you. Ah, there he is. There's my boy. We're gonna add the... Solidify, because we want that line art. It's my innate scuff shining through. Oh man, we all have... Is innate scuff another good way of saying that you have, like, neurospicy? <laughs> No, you don't, so we'll need to put that back on you. There we go. Now 
Now we just need to put a negative value in thickness. And find that vertex group. Outline depth. Perfect. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Nice! Oh, look at that. It's looking good! Is this still on... Which render engine is this? Cycles. Switch back to Eevee. There we go. We'll be rendering, so that'll be important. Eevee handles rendering in real time. Cycles needs a, bit lo needs a little longer. Has more options, though, like baking. Okay. Um... Yes. Have him strike a pose. <laughs> you snug there, awkward? Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome. We're gonna be posing some characters. Um... Where can I get a good guitar from? You know, not to, like... Not to imply that I made the guitar. Although, I probably could make the guitar. You got a BC Rich Warlock? That's a guitar I really want. Alright. Well, it would be disingenuous of me to uh, show you with an asset I didn't create myself, right? So... Now we got some ref. Leap of Company sure is a fun cultural thing right now. I may not have played it, but I love watching people play it. Zika's monster behavior design is quite interesting. Most monster horror games don't have very interesting monsters, but Elsie's enemies are varied and spicy, and I like them. Yeah, yeah. Each one is a different um, encounter type or a puzzle to be solved. I really enjoy that too, and I think that's down to um, their experience, like, coming up making games on Roblox. Because apparently they made a lot of those. It made, uh, it made things very accessible for them. So... You know, uh, as much as people meme on Roblox, anything that's uh, giving people access to game development tools early is good. Although, the rev share model? No. <laughs> I can't, I can't condone that. How quickly can Fen spin out a model of a guitar? At least one that has a silhouette. Let's go. Ba -da -ba -ba. Let's put it in the save folder. Depending on how detailed, it'd be a fairly simple model, not yeah. Um, especially since like I have an idea of how I can make the frets really easily, and I used to I used to be very concerned about that. Now I'm like, oh, I know how to do that in like two seconds. And it doesn't have to be optimized either, which is good. It's just here for like, you know, showing off. Is plain. Where's it going? Oh, right. They never like. It never like faces up. That's frustrating. I just think it'd be cool to uh, have something the model could be doing. 
as opposed to just, here's the model, spin, spin. Maybe I'm at making too much work for myself. Alright. And I'm gonna have, like, some closer up images in my little mood board, I think. So I'll put some in here, just so I can see the detail. That was one thing I ran into as a problem when I was uh, working on the gun, is that I didn't have it in the room with me, so when there was a bit where the 3D scan let me down, I was like, man, what, what do I do here? What does this bit look like? Now I actually have those guns in the room with me. That is a pretty cool guitar. Yeah, the Warlock is a, is a sick guitar. <laughs> It looks really nice. Just ignore the AI. See, once you install a routine on some, like, smart devices, the app can be really faulty, and it takes a while for you to get back into the app to turn it off. Love the horns. Yeah! Oh, I forgot it had a Floyd Rose bridge. That's fun. So we'll be using Hard Ops Box Cutter for this as well. Oh, it's kind of got a bevel, too, along the edge here. Oh, but it, f it flares in the middle. That's in oh, that's going to be interesting to do. And we got all the switches. Actually, that could be a rendo now that I'm looking at it. What does the back look like? I guess I don't need to know. Where does the strap go on it? There we go, yeah. Okay. Alright. Now we got that up. Alright, I actually don't want to make a box. I can use the box cutter. Is that how I want to go about it? I want to try the fretboard first, maybe. Song sounds familiar? I think it's a Yoshi song. Edit mode. Yeah. Just bring that in with the neck. Beautiful. Yeah, because the fretboard can largely be symmetrical. The rest of it is very much not. I think I remember correctly, the back should actually be a curved shape, so... Let's see now, Hard Ops will be the one I need for that. Hard Ops. Let's select these two edges, and then ask for a bevel. How do we do that? Oh, oh, wrong way around. How many segments? guys together. There we go. 
Hey, Twin. <gasps> you back? That'll do. It's a nice face. Look at that already. Looking kind of guitarish. Just been lurking here. Nice. Thank you very much. Always appreciate our lurkers. Bring these out a bit further. That's about right. Yeah, because it's got the corner there. Which will bevel a little, but not much. Who knew that this would turn into yet another excuse to practice hot surface? I sure didn't. thing about having the uh, the actual picture of the guitar behind it and do some funky stuff I don't think it has scalloped frets that's where you get your real weird guitars uh, but I want to go to Artist box cutter. Turn off the box that we have. Nice box cutter. We want a circle on the side here. Yeah, uh -huh. that'll do. Now we want to put it here and reduce it till it's yeah about the same size as the fret. Probably needs to be a bit thicker. Just like generally, but yeah, yeah, and then we'll just reduce the size. Thus. Now comes the fun part. We can use an array. We can have an offset on an array to create the rest of the frets. bit smaller every time. You can make them less and less as it grows on. That's what I'm going to figure out, yeah. Constant offset. It doesn't look like that's going to work. I swear I've gotten this to work before, though. see how like ooh that's gonna work maybe if I duplicate it and use it as an object offset so this duplicate's not gonna have this array 
And I'm going to turn the array off on here for the time being. And I'll move this one down. And we'll use an object offset. How's that one? Oh! Now we can move this one around. Hmm. Almost. Fascinating. How can I make them less and less? really wants it to be constant. Which is weird, because I'm, I swear I've gotten them to, like, do something different before when I didn't want them to. Ain't that always the way? Oh, well. You know, what I can do, though, is just, you know, do it like that and then shift them around. Hit a fly. Actually, I think it's still a bit thick. Oh, the origin point's up there. That's interesting. I don't know the total count of them is in there. Save incremental. Apply. Oh, no, no, don't you. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just gonna be easier to do it this way. And then apply it and then group them manually. Unfortunate, so it may be. But at least it's not gonna take me very long. Remember that Ben stream where he would rather model an entire guitar than do some paperwork? Yeah. 
ADHD. <laughs> Look, I'm doing my best. Yes. <laughs> ADHD. Yeah, watch out for the ad. It'll get you. It'll get you. You'll get advertised at. Oh, wait. No, I need that threat to come down with. You know, as someone who's an artist and who has experience playing guitar, I hope it's appreciated that I actually am paying attention <laughs> to, like, details that I think a lot of artists, if they weren't uh, into guitars at all, would probably just be like, nah, no one will notice. But we knew, we noticed. Kind of like how in uh, Metalocalypse, whenever you see Squizcuff playing the guitar, he is actually, hit, like, fretting the right notes and everything in real time. Amazing. kind of astounded by that kind of accuracy. It it takes a lot of work. But, you know, given it's Brendan Small in charge, I'm like, I'm pretty sure he would have been embarrassed to make a show about heavy metal where the heavy metal guys didn't play their instruments properly. And I think that's reasonable. Just given the kind of elitism that can be in music in general, and metal in particular. I think he made the right call. He knew his audience, because his audience was basically him. Give or take, like, a generation or two. Dedication for sure. Yeah, yeah. We appreciate it. We respect it. We salute you. Like I didn't quite make enough frets. I forgot to, fit. I forgot to take into account, 22 is the number of frets between the little fret sparks, but that's okay. I can just duplicate. Oh. What? 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 What do you mean? What do you do? Okay, cool. Now, duplicate that one. Thank you. Are you fixed? Go. Ad break over. Perfect. Now, can I use proportional edit in the way that I'd like to here? Gotta check this out first. Uh, connected only, turn that off. Therefore, if I then go to scale it using like the, uh, the scale along the x axis, oh, some of them follow along. And we can just expand this until we should make it uh, linear. Yes. Now if we turn the box back on. Ooh, not quite lined up. That's okay. Hey yo, not bad. Not bad at all. That didn't take very long. Although I don't think it's quite... I don't think they're quite centered. I can't tell which one is off-center, though. Oh, 
object. Um, pretty cursor. I need a button that's just like return 3D cursor to, you know, neutral. Object. Uh, set origin to 3D cursor. Yeah, that's not quite in the middle. Okay. Set origin to geometry. Leaning to one side. Damn it. There we go, that's better. Origin to geometry. That one. Yeah, now we can make sure that these are all lined up. ones in the middle that seem to not quite have the right length, but you could easily fix that. Fill these other ones out a little. That'll work. Not bad. Not bad. Let's take a look at our reference. I'm going to have to come up with some materials too. Let's add some. Warlock black, let's call it. If we want warlock black, I'll make the basic color like a purpley black. secondary one that's like wood finish. I might add some like streaks to it. Brett wood. <laughs> oh you like it? Well, you'll love this stringless guitar. There's not even—I haven't done the, done the strings yet. Shush. <laughs> it's coming, okay? You'll love the like. You can get an everythingless guitar. They used to sell packets with air guitars in them. Now that's marketing gone awry. We're playing a real life warlock. Nice. <laughs> Any excuse, really. My new air guitar arrived right from Amazon. <laughs> Bill, what? Don't fear the Reaper. Reminds me of Obvious Plant. Love the guy. Oh, I love Obvious Plant. Obvious plant's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going about this the right way, where we address these one at a time. And we do the body like blast. Not 
sure if I should add the dots. That looks like detail work we can add last. And the, uh, yeah, the heads. The heads. The headstock's gonna be easy. This one doesn't look like it has a Floyd Rose. I'll show you one thing that's gonna be super easy. Check this out. Volume knobs? Uh huh. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Voila! Are you not entertained? And the second one. Easy peasy. It, apparently, guitar creation was this easy in real life. could do these, like, these look like humbucker pickups. Like, this guitar, this version of the guitar, seems like someone's put, like, Gibson-style stuff in it, but the other ones have, like, Floyd Rose and these, like, EMG pickups. Which are probably easy to model, so we'll go with the EMG ones, shall we? also the cutter. What was I... Well, I still had an object selected, that's probably why. I've been cleaning and watching stream. The itch to do so strong, but I must not. Otherwise, I'm going to stay up and need to eat normally to find make jet. Oh, are you meeting someone? You're meeting Jess for the first time? So excited! Yippee! Yippee indeed. Always cool meeting the internet fam. Just as valid and real as the IRL fam. Sweet. Good luck. Another news. I'm having a swell night. I hope it's going great for our fellow scholars. I think it's going well. How you guys feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. This is going real fast. And you guys know of how much I like that. Fast. Fast. Yeah, good luck for all of us. Excited to meet fellas. Yeah. You should be. I'm glad to hear it, actually. Oh, that's the thing. I got back I got turned around.
reference they have, yeah, it's a darker colour, but it's also got a gloss to it. Thank you all so much. Oh, no problem, Mr. Uh, Leo. Great time. Let us know how it goes, yeah. Bring back that field report. I shall it. Excellent. Then go forth with our blessing. shit ton of mango jelly for everyone <laughs> but that's sweet like in a couple of ways that sounds really i love mango flavor <laughs> Too jelly, he knocked in anything. You don't want him being too jelly. I just think I want to. Can I copy the volume knobs and use them as tiny little screws? I think I can. Look how, look how little modeling I actually have to do to make this work. Throw me in a pool of it, I'll be fine. <laughs> Bury me. Bury me in the mango, says Saber. Apply a mirror to that one. Almost fell for that. No, you've got to get up so that you can go do the thing. We went over this. Uh, if this mirror is on, where the hell is it? Origin to you, three thousand. There we go. Oh, 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 close one. Yeah, it was the trap. You don't gonna. You don't want to fall for the trap. Going that way? Wait. No. 
that's not the right one. Almost. What's wrong with this picture? There we go. The two pickups. Pretty well lined up. Oh, you can see the little... There's the plug. That's where it's supposed to be. Let me see now. Uh, I guess we're going to do the bridge. It's a little tricky. A little complex. I ain't, I ain't scared, though. Ice coffee. Ooh! Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Oh, oh, yep. I'll hydrate. Hang on. Nom, 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 nom. It's very nice to have people willing to like water and take care of their streamers. Thank you very much. What? That's not what I wanted. It's the bridge is going to be a bit tricky. Glad people remember, because my all oh, my plants die because they usually forget. Oh, oof. Reminded, we're not optimizing this for game engines or anything, so we can pretty much pull out any blender trick we want and just make it work. We don't have to like follow any optimization procedures. It's just got to be in Saber Charlie's hands while I pose him and make him do a cool rocker pose or something. Or I overwater them. Oh no! You reminded me, I need to check on the tree that I got. I think it's doing fine, though. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I need the picture of a back of a PC. Rich Warlock. Where can I find that? Maybe you look them up, they're always like, Yeah, check it out, bro! They didn't, they didn't give you like, Oh, there's the back. Oh, that was quick. Well, uh, forget everything I said. That was easy. Tree? Like a bonsai one? Or a... Oh, no, I, we, for Christmas this year I bought like a living tree and I want to like take care of it and I really need to repot it actually so that it can grow bigger for next year. I didn't want to get something that like just is dead and then sheds all over your house. Seems kind of, kind of counterintuitive. That's so cool. Yeah! And it's been sprouting really, like, consistently. It's been doing a good job. Oh, but I do, I get to look at how the headstock looks from behind here. That's cool.
Sometimes I really hate the web. It's just like every website in their cat wants to either show you ads or sell your soul to advertisers. Yeah. It's unfortunately, the uh, the stage of the internet that we're living in. As a person who really loves herbalism and foraging, I don't have a green thumb, I just have a rotten thumb and harvest my mother's crop because she only really plants for the fun of it. Fresh herbs are so good for teas, cooking, tinctures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I myself went to, instead of going to the regular supermarket, I went to the special, like, fresh vegetable store and I made a bolognese and, oh, it's so much better. I want to do it again, but instead of buying um, mints from the regular place, I'm going to go to, a, like, a special butcher and be like, how far can I push the quality of this spaghetti bolognese? I have aspirations. I just want to be good at stuff that I do. I don't understand not wanting that. If I'm gonna be- if I'm gonna do something, I want to do it as good as I can do it. Ooh, I'm growing- yeah! I'd like to have time to home grow stuff, but I- I don't think I do. Or rather, I would- I would rather spend my time making this kind of stuff with you guys than, uh, becoming, like, a farmer. I will say, 2023, my skills as a cook are expansion. Really? That's cool. Hmm. Should this be the other way around? Is this a rever- Oh yeah, the image is reversed. Since I moved to country, girl make do. I wish I could be a farmer. I love learning about agriculture and stuff, but I suck at planting. That's a shame. It sounds like you've got a passion for it, too. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Demanding part. We've got all these little, little complicated bits. What am I looking at? Hmm. How about just between you meet the plantation behind my house has really tasty edamame and come on. Ooh! Nice. Hmm. Yeah. 
Gotta vote like that. There we go. Ooh, shiny. Bridging a guitar. Yeah! That's right, being Motive. Welcome in. Uh, this is part of my push. It's gonna be part of my push for uh, putting stuff on VGen, but I wanted to, like, pose some of my characters, and I went, I gotta pose Saber Charlie's model with a guitar, so I'll just quickly put one together. Why not? <laughs> then I can move his guitar from anywhere. Anywhere in the scene. Oh, it's not gonna be that hard. Just do a whole new 3D model. Why not? I I'm a fool. Don't do this. Animate the background it helps. What I was observing, um, I thought that the best way to go would be to have a YouTube link because that's oh, you know, cool. A YouTube link. Everyone loves to be able to see the model in action. But what you want is actually probably a GIF for like the first image in the service, because that's the one that people are going to be scrolling past when they're in the shop, and that's the only type that moves, so I'm going to try and make a GIF that's got some, some dynamic stuff happening. We're going to render it out today. Yeah. That way, hopefully, we get some commissions. And not too many, though, because I want to I wanna do stuff. I'm, I'm happy to do commissions. I love working with commissions, but I want to also make my own things. So we're finding the balance going to be where we go. It's going to be our challenge. Some of these little doohickeys. Yeah, okay. The bridge is full of complicated stuff like this. How's your stuff going, Motive? How's your day? You got anything fun happening? Are you having a good time? Are you enjoying the things that life is showing to you? Important question. Something to know. Do you enjoy what life has to offer? And if not, maybe something needs to change. Box three. Uh, 
difference. Intersection. Oh, no. Difference. Uh, hmm. Mm, okay. Not quite what I wanted. Wow, Finn. Are you bullying the bridge? I'm not, not bullying the, the bridge. This is where Box Cutter can actually cut. Help us out. Oh no! It's not quite what we wanted. I can fix it! First off, turn off this bevel. I don't need that. Bring it in a little. Yeah. Now I changed the scale tool to be along the normals. Uh. Hmm. Okay. What if I change this one to be along the normals too? Huh. Oh no. That kind of works. Yeah. Playing around with my label printer. Ooh. Fun. Gonna put your name on a whole bunch of stuff. I had a housemate once. They started, like... I don't know if they were worried someone would take their bananas. But they started, like, writing their names on the banana. On the skin on the outside. So every time I looked down, I had to see, like, their initials on all the bananas. I'm like, did someone... If, if someone took your bananas, dude, you could just, like, say something, and we could agree not to. But there was no discussion, it was just, I'm gonna write my name on them. It was kind of, kind of passive-aggressive. It was not a good time for anybody. You know, guaranteed. Make it label that says, peel your pin before use. It's a thermal printer for shipping. Oh, nice. Now I get you. My story wasn't totally irrelevant, though. I'm sure we can all relate to that on some level. Voice. See, to get that out of the regular shape, it would have taken me forever. Holographic stickers. Yo! Okay, Skellywags, the eeping is creeping. Uh, hope you all succeeding. And you'll be reaping the night end with the nicest night. Oh, thank you, Estrella. Good luck, and uh, yeah, let's know how it goes tomorrow. Super excited for you. Did I show you? I'm not sure you did, but feel free to. This is the fake one. This is the real one up here. Mesh. Separate selection. Good, now the mirror goes back to normal. I 
Is there replicating it? Ah, yes. Origin to geometry. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, take care, Estrella. Hope to see you again soon. Hope to hang out again soon. That was really fun. I need to make sure that I make time for socializing as well as work. I gotta tell you, this, this first month has just been. You're not doing enough work. You're not doing enough work. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm doing my best! I'm gonna rate across. That makes six of them. Six! Oh, wait. That's the bells. They are supposed to be pretty big, I guess. Relative scale is something I struggle with a lot. This is like summertime in Naruto's village. I don't know what this track is at all. Call me a weeb, that they buy all. Even if it's true. But you, you probably can, I don't care. Is that something to me drawing heads too big? Yeah, I struggle with that as well. I really do. I'll tell you what, for, in my case, I know why. But there's all kinds of reasons why, you know, what we see every day doesn't match up with what we're supposed to draw in art. Classical proper proportions. Oh, that's actually looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. I'm drawing heads too big, right? Are you doing it on purpose? Oh! Yo! Oh, these look sick! Holograph. Now I understand what you meant by holographic. Yeah, yeah. Your logo, dude, is so sick. Um, I probably need a new one. Did you, did you design that yourself, or did you get someone to do it for you? Cause it looks rad. I need a new one. I even want a new emblem for the flag. That's how refreshed I wanted the designs to be. Cause I'm going. I want to. I started this off thinking I'll probably get a job. Um, and now I'm like. This is the brand now. This is what we're doing. I need to do my best with it. No, I wish. Oh. Yago, I have a degree in graphic. Oh, do you? Thank God for Liquify. <laughs> Liquify is very good. When Liquify came to Clip, that was a big moment. That was a big moment for everybody. And also, when they natively started supporting uh, Photoshop brushes, I laughed and laughed. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, stretch time. My drawing process has me shrinking the head two or three times. Do you not think to... Um... You know, measure out the proportion before you start drawing. Do you prefer the top one or the bottom one? I actually, I prefer the top one. Um, this one's great, but this one has the little personality. Uh, I think the uh, presence of a little character, like a face to identify with is really, um, it, it's eye-catching. Yeah. You need to lengthen the legs a lot more. On a scale of like, 
<laughs> tiny chibi character to Yoji Shinkawa. What are your head proportions like? Also, the QR code is a nice touch. I've always tried to include one of those with my business cards. I should get more into, like, any... Have you ever ordered, like, a package from Japan? Of something? Because, like, it comes... If you're from not there, it comes with, like, a pamphlet of tourist locations in the area. Um, I want to make sure that if I ship products again, if I start doing uh, physical media, that I have something like that that I can offer. Like, I want to be as attentive as that with my products if I ship stuff. Which I'm not in a position to do right now, but it's something I'm keeping in mind for the future. Average oh, welcome back, Sabo. Had to check the local coals. Oh? When I sketch out, I usually build out from there. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Building out? That can be a trap. That's where you get a lot of those proportion problems. That's been my experience anyway. Wanna see my messy sketch I'm struggling with? Yeah, sure. We're all we're all just being working beans right now. Oh look at the paneling back there, yeah. Ooh. I see, I see. Don't worry, we're gonna do the body. The body's gonna be the fun part. Hair hand and beat guy's pain. Oh no. Beats his pain. Instead of uh, modeling a whole other thing for the like the switch, I think that is. That's like the switch between the pickups. Oh, yo, this looks awesome. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, I love this cute fox girl. Hello. Do I know this person? Is this for someone? I finally look. You never draw your VTuber. <laughs> Throwing it in his twisting pose. Man. I remember the days when I just used to draw cute girls all the time. Kind of miss it. I guess that's why I've been drawing them a lot lately. As much as I like the 3D modeling stuff we're doing. It's me! Yeah, I, I got that after a second, sorry. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever up when you're streaming. Cute girls, Ben. I will. Oh, believe me, I will. In inset. There we go. The final extrude. Where? I haven't debuted or finished my model. I want to draw them. Uh, learn to rig. Oh, I see. Well, I hope. I wish you best of luck with it. I'm looking forward to meeting them. <gasps> and then a bevel! It turns into a little switch! I think I might be getting the hang of hot surface modeling, guys. Bam. And then I want to check the materials. I'm going to assign a new material. We're going to go for that. Uh, pick up two... Noise. Oh, look at that. I'm not streaming, I'm just doing art. Oh, okay. 
That's also valid. <laughs> That's looking good. Thank you. Switch. I'll probably uh, bend it one way or the other, but then I'd have to rig it, so let's just leave it for now. No one's saying anything. No one's saying anything. We'll, we'll get away with it. I can't believe there's 30 of you guys just watching me make a guitar in Blender when I should be doing other stuff. Makes me feel all, all warm and fuzzy on the inside. Like, imagine standing in a room with that many people. That's crazy. And you all just show up day after day, making my life so much better. <laughs> oh. There we go. PG-13 one for- Yes, PG-13. We vibing. Yeah! Cena! Welcome! I do enjoy using the toggle in that because it's so it's all <laughs> ah fair enough. Oh yeah, it's this it's a three-way switch, that's right. We're draw we're making a guitar in Blender. It was not scheduled. It was not on the list. Are you opening a VJ? I am actually, yeah. I opened for commissions without VJ last time. I went to go and make the VJ, but then I got commissioned before um <laughs> before I could finish making the VJ, so I didn't bother. Oh, that is a nice care pack. Look at all this! Ah! Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of care package stuff. Handle with care, do not bend. Good, yeah, fragile, mm hmm. All good stuff. All good stuff to put in the packaging. What kind of stuff you put in on there? Oh, this is like the, the gear, like the, the volume knob and everything. I started off with the fretboard. Um, and I think. I'm up to making the bridge at the moment because it's kind of tricky. I don't want to do the whole bridge, like all of it, because I want to make it enough so that when you see it from a distance, you'll kind of get the idea. Guitar looking sick, thank you. Oh, let me turn off the uh, the reference so you can actually see. So this is what we got so far. Oh. Not looking bad. Ben guitar string, yeah! Then we're gonna pose it with, um, Save a Charlie's model to show off one of the models that I made. I need to make a model to show off a model. <laughs> what? What is wrong with me? Why am I like this? Dude, you know those guitars that you just make with epoxy? Yeah, yeah. What about them? You should make them like that for the- Ooh! That, I might do that at some point, but if I did that here, everyone would see what a dodgy job I did with the, like, like the uh, back part of the mesh. I'm relying on the density of this uh, actual body to cover up the fact that I haven't modeled a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, box. Let me check the bevel settings for the box cutter. Those don't look, look good bevel settings to me. Width, a four, uh huh. Segments one, I don't know if you do better. Two segments. There's another zero in there. Why is that doing anything? Maybe you just turn it off. And then I can bevel once it's made. Then we select the then we sure the depth. Hmm. Start again. Click and drag. Leave the bevel. Oh, now I can Yeah, there we go. Oh, 
Oh! That's long. That's longer than I wanted. You long boy. How dare you be so long? You're supposed to be flat. What the? Uh, that's odd. Not again! That's what she said. She said nothing of the sort. strong. <laughs> I don't know why being murdered, but a lot of your emotes don't seem to show up for me. Pick the right materials here. Let's go uh, pick up one. Yeah, nice and metallic. Yeah, they show up in the chat up there, but not in like my docked stream chat OBS plugin. Very strange. Thought I'd let you know. I don't, probably on my end. I thought I had better TV. BTTV emotes in. Activated, though. No. Don't you have better TTV? I thought I did. It's activated on the. I, maybe OBS doesn't have it, you know? It might be on, like, all of my browsers, but just not on the OBS internal browser somehow. Which is kind of annoying. 7 TV? using resources. Then go to box cutter mode. Circle. Oh! Get the cutter out. Good thing about this system is, like, it's non-destructive, so get it wrong, you can just actually go in and edit the shape. Which I frequently am finding I need to do. starting already? That was quick. Watch out for it. <laughs> okay. New shape. Want to make a square? Yes. regular amount of beveling. Just a little bit. Oh! Hey, there we go. That's what I wanted. Nice. Uh, you know if you can buy pre-made stuff on, on BGN? I'm pretty sure it's just a, you know, a, a, a marketplace, basically. Change my tools back to being set to default. Because it's gonna bite me. 
You gotta love that default and normal are two very different functions in this program. I definitely think you could sell pixel stuff. It's just, you know... Um, one very cool thing about VTubing in general is that it's kind of... Uh, got Like, because, Pete, there are so many setup guides and so many people looking to provide setup guides, um, it's led people to make setup guides for stuff that you wouldn't ordinarily see setup guides for. Like, hey, here's the type of stuff you should be serving. Here's the kind of numbers you should be looking for. Here's the kind of ways to pump out the content that they need. And she the lurk over me. So I found that the community was really accepting uh, at that, like, early on. And I need a box cut, don't I? You don't understand. You cut the box. Oh, I think some of these have string dampeners. That's probably where I'm uh, getting all messed up. Oh my god. What do you what do you found? Are we dying? What's going on? They have no graphic design. <laughs> well then that's a perfect place for you to start off and like uh clean up. There's a gap in the market. That's very important. I think one of the most valuable things you can do as an artist is identify yeah, that's what I like to see. Cracking your knuckles, getting ready. That's why, like, there's a lot of VTubers who are just like, I'm gonna be a VTuber, I'm gonna be this kind, I'm gonna, like, play games. That's fine if you want to do that, but there's a whole lot of space that you could be occupying where, like, there's different kinds of expertise you could be supplying as a VTuber. Do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, where are the VTuber, like, um... You know, creature artists, or, like, uh, crochet knitters, and that kind of thing. It doesn't have to be just one thing. It's the Wild West right now, anything goes. Alas, if I only had skills! Oh, I think you're selling yourself a little short there, I'm sure you've got some kind of skills. After all, you've been designing a full-ass game, haven't you? Hmm? Hmm? That's what I thought. Why won't the you guys move? Those are simply the ramblings of a mad woman? Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure, sure. Someone's gonna ramble. Maybe that's your niche. No design document should be 74 pages. Are you kidding? Some of them go up to 300 pages. Mind you, that is quite a bit for what you're doing. Doing better than Bethesda. And that is still saying something. done with the outbreak already? Nice. That's why I need you to be good. I've been burnt too many times by... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel that. I, not, I might not be in the trenches with you, but, like, I definitely feel like they need to respect that customer base more. Or at least, you know, that guy who says, we don't need... We don't need, uh, design documents. You need to do your job, sir. Please. Because, like, every time he doesn't, the people who have to make up for it, the people who, have, who suffer, are the people actually working on the game. That's supposed to be his job! We don't want to stifle our creators. No, you don't want to do the thing you're supposed to be working on. 
But if I have offended anyone, what should I do? What should I... You should fuck off, but that's what you should do. like that one place. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Uh, I'm gonna inset this face. Ben, yes, Mordu. I'm here. My goal is to make a design document so easy that anyone can just look at it and boom, they can make the game. Oh, how do I play video with you? Uh, what do you want to play? What do you got? I wanted to set up a server. For a certain game, but that's not happening now. I'm not big enough to weather, like, the hits like the bigger VTubers are. Someone will try and cancel me, I'm sure. River City- Oh, <gasps> You wanna play River City Girls? We can play River City Girls. Heck yeah. I love River City Girls. I've got, I think the, um, I've got the Switch version. I could get the PC version. I've got River City Girls 2. I have not touched it. <gasps> You got it on PC. Guys, I think I'm being asked on a date. <laughs> Me neither. Oh! Let's go. Hell yeah. I do. <laughs> oh, it works so good. Uh, the perfect pair. <laughs> we just like girls so much. I'm also thinking about doing stuff on that game. Really? It's... Look, the tragedy of it is, it's a really fun game. You were the best person to play it with too- Am I? What's that? Do I have some special property? Oh. 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 Squee- <laughs> Personality. Oh, thank you. Right back at you. Vidya. Vidya. Although I do sometimes panic and uh, stomp the wrong person in that game. Why the hell doesn't the scale work? Why? Tell me your secrets. That works. And that works. I guess that'll do. Let me know when I'm down. Okay, I got a lot to finish up this week, but as soon as I can clear it out, that'd be awesome. You want to do it on stream or off stream? Not everybody likes to be on stream. I understand that. Either. Cool. On would be fun. Yeah, I think so too. Gaming days. Right now my gaming days are with my crew. With the uh, the Metal Gear playthrough. That's what we're working our way through at the moment. God damn it. Hmm. Two supports, four play. Who else are we going to get? So if we play the girls, we gotta get someone to play the boys. Because the girls are just too cute. I can't not play as one of the girls. Uh, hang on a second. What are their names again? All oh, Pisces wants to play? The Pisces is here. Hello! Yeah, dibs on, uh, Kyoko. Dibs on Kyoko. The girl that hates Naomi seemed cool. <laughs> yeah, I can ask. It's 
I don't know if they play Brawlers, though. I think they're mostly... You know what? I'm not sure, actually. Brawlers is such a niche game style these days. It's hard to think... It's hard to imagine when they were, like, ubiquitous. Like, they were just, like, a whole genre that people would play. In the long, in the long, long ago, in the before time. Isaki is kind of slow, I guess, but Kyoko is just too cute. I can't, I can't not play as Kyoko. I can go with her. Oh yeah, all right, that's it. That, that, thank you. <laughs> She's got that Genki girl personality, you know? Okay, I think that'll do. She doesn't know much about anything, and we won't judge her for that! I just, I love that twist ending at the end of the first game. That was amazing. Go through all that, and then what do the boys say? Yeah, I don't understand why... What if I turn proportional edit off? No, it just it won't compress from side to side. What if I... That is not mirroring. What if I turn mirroring on? that works. Weird that I have to do it that way, though. I think they ret retconned it because the neck got mad. Oh? I'm vibrating intensely. Ooh! Why is that? Why is that? You got good news? Here's one thing I hope about that game, is that, like, since they got all those sales and still early access, what if they just changed all the monster designs? It, it's, like, it's not inconceivable that they could do that if they really wanted to. I'd certainly appreciate it. The deep cut concerts from the Cancel Nintendo Life is going to be streamed on YouTube. Oh, nice! So it's just going to be available. It's going to be widely consumable. That's a great. That's great news. Congratulations. That's big news for a Pisces. Big news for Splatoon in general as well, I imagine. The Zelda concert. Oh, oh, the Zelda concert, you say? Ooh, okay. Interesting, interesting. February 9th and 10th. Hmm. Something else happening around that time. I can't remember what, though. I'm gonna go to the Sonic one. Oh, you actually... Do you have tickets to, like, Sonic Symphony? Because I'd be so jealous, actually. I think I know someone who has tickets already, and I'm like, Oh, no! Oh, have fun. <gasps> you bastard! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. You're probably just saying that... Probably just saying that to mess with me. 
But even if not, like, have a good time. Ah uh, means it sincerely. <laughs> that little gremlin face. Ah, uh, has it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. You don't. Separate, please. Take this one, go to the Boolean. Gotta change that to a four. That'll be f oh, oh, four or five. Five, maybe? Which one are you? You've cut another four, so that should work. I guess I could just cut it again. That's fine. If you want to come to CA, we'll spoil- Oh, boy, do I want to, but... Plane tickets, dude. Expensive. Expensive. And I wouldn't be able to work while I was there. Which, you know, is expensive in its own way. I guess I could find a way if I had a laptop or something. Maybe it's time I got one again. A laptop would do. I hope so. One day. <laughs> one day I'll be allowed to enjoy things. Let's bevel these. Not too much. Then that central face there. Not that one. Not that one. The one on the inside. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Okay. Uh. I want to divide this in two, so I guess I'll edge loop. I appreciate the hard- oh, thank you. Look, it's not like I work this hard, like, out of a sense of, uh, I prefer it this way. It's- it's definitely like a, if I don't, uh, what's gonna happen? <laughs> what's gonna happen? I don't know! That's the scary part. But, frankly, the fact that I've gotten this far at all is kind of impressive to me. Wanted to. A job traditionally in animation where I'll be working on some cool production for a big company. Unless, unless you're grinding. Not everyone has the guts for that. It's fair. Unless, of course, it ends up being my production. Because <laughs> I just think I'm too much of a stickler for, like, quality and, like, integrity to really deal. You can work for Mappa. Oh, hey, CJ. Work for Mappa? <laughs> Good. I'd love to do some anime shots, just like, as a bucket list thing, I would love, in general, to, um, have worked on an anime, so that one day, they could be like, how weeb did he get? Well, he made, he made anime. I've already made manga, so I can cross that off my bucket list. Manga that was in Japanese, for Japanese consumers, sold in Japan. Yes. It's about as authentic as you can get without being born Japanese. And I was, uh, taught in Japan by people making manga. As an assistant? No, no, it was, uh, it was my own release. I put out, uh, one shot in, uh, at a festival. At, uh, Komitia. Sugoi, dude, thank you. I felt pretty Sugoi. I had so much help. What? What do you mean, CJ? What? 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 Yeah, I did it. I, I did, that was a bucket list item for me.
pretty cool. What's it called? I can't reveal that without doctoring myself, so I'm not going to. You probably wouldn't have heard of it, though. No, no, you say... <laughs> uh-huh. What do you say? NANI?! <laughs> It's actually briefly on TV there as well, so... They were very fascinated by the, uh... The foreigner who wanted to come and learn manga from... Proper manga artist. And I also said, look, I'd love to do assistant work. And they are like, it's cool! You should be an assistant. You're definitely at the level where you should be, like, learning from a... But then I had to go home. And then, like, rather than being allowed to spend time developing that practice, I didn't have the support network to really just stop and uh, take advantage of that offer, which is really sad. There's a lot of things in my life like that, but you can't always, you can't let that get you down. You can't dwell on it forever, or you'll be that guy who, like, one time I did a thing, or, but now we're here, we're doing this. And that's way better. No! <laughs> What does that mean, Vixie? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Get that working visa? So sad. Yeah, what's sad? I don't even need a working visa. What I needed was to be, like... Just to have, like, a little bit of, um... I guess, financial stability. Which I've... I, I realized the other day, I haven't actually had that. Everything's either been up in the air... Or, like, I'm currently, like, or, like, receiving some kind of welfare benefit, or, like, just barely making it on something else. Uh, because people who have savings can afford to, like, jump over. They're like, oh, you should really probably get some savings. Like, I, no one's ever given me opportunity to earn a living. Apartments cost 40 bucks over there, mind you. That Yeah, I would have trouble with that. I'd need, I'd need a mansion. I'm physically too big for a lot of those places. But, you know, it's all good. Now we're doing this stuff. This is also very interesting and exciting. I get to be a new player in the space, doing something that not a lot of other people are doing. How did you publish it? I want to make one too. Well, um, you know, I got, uh, I, I was briefly serialized in another magazine. Um, and then I took, uh, I took it upon myself to make some, like, print copies and I translated them. And then I took them to the comic festival. I'd love to see your comic work someday, sure. I've shown it up on stream before briefly, but... It's not super good, you guys. <laughs> I think I could do it better today than I did back then. But that's the grind. That's the grind. What the? Why is that the result? Uh, extrude region. Extrude along normals. I uh, thank you. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Though. Someone said to me a long time ago, I need I was thinking about them recently as well. I should probably go and tell them how much this meant to me, but they said, look, what I think what you do is incredible because you never like make an excuse, you just sit down and you do it. And I don't know anyone else like that. And I went, that's something I that's a compliment I've held in my pocket for a long time. What's it about? It was about artists actually, which was, you know, kind of meta kind of like Snake in its own tail. But you might be surprised, you might be happy to know, CJ, that I'm planning on doing some narrative focused stuff with this whole setup, too. Um, I'm half and half right now with if I want to do like just an animated trailer for comics and then make the comics, or if I want to like try to do full scale animation on this idea that I have. Because I think that could be fun, too. Sounds like something I've told you before. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. 
That would be Sir Bullet, right? Caramel? Because right now, I don't think anyone's using um, VTubing to do the manga thing, like to tell stories. And if I can be amongst the first to really push it to hold a narrative, an interactive narrative that the audience participates in, that'd be incredible. Puppet shows have come so far in the last hundred years. I bet you can do anything. Oh, thank you, CJ. That sure is what I like to believe. Anything is possible. But in order to do that, I gotta amass fundage. And the fundage comes from the commissions. So let's let's cross our fingers that we get some that or I am actually gonna try and find some film grants soon. So that'll be cool. Are you reaching into my mind? <laughs> I guess now it's like there's a lot of people probably thinking that they could do that. Now it's a race. But you know, I'd be open to exploring that opportunity with people along board. We need a crew after all, right? Change to circle. Uh oh. Wait, what? Oh, does two cuts equal... Oh, I wanted to cut that. Yeah. Make that cut. Cool. If I can help you, that would make me... Really? Oh, gosh. Maybe I should let you in on my plans a little, little further. What have I got that I can tell you about? Uh... Set origin to geometry. Yeah. Yeah. These are our little bits. I trust you. Aw. I just need money and my plan was to entice you with comics and eventual anime. Oh. So we're both trying to find money to do the same kind of thing. Yeah. I've actually got a whole uh, concept that I've been writing up for a long time for this setting. Uh... Game on for you guys. I'm not a VTuber, but I wish it could be one. I don't know how to make one, and it's so expensive. Oh, you could start off with a PNG tuber. It all depends on if you like streaming to begin with or not. So start off with a PNG tuber is my recommendation for most people. See if that works. And if you like it, then, like, you can, uh... You can look into expanding if the community is, uh... is growing. I recommend the same. Yeah! You can be a PNG tuber. Uh, you can be the. It's there shouldn't be like a massive, you know, bottleneck for entry point VTubing. That's why I'm always saying PNG tuber valid as heck. You can hire an artist to make a PNG for a reasonable. Yeah, exactly. Or you could go the route I went and just learn the whole thing to make the whole thing by yourself. If you happen to have like six months of spare time available. Not usually recommended. I had very special circumstances at the time. Dip your toe in it. Yeah. Oh, dude. That's gonna do the pickup. Look at that. Just needs an array. Wrong way. You can hire Fen. Yeah, you could, actually! <laughs> My PG tube is very sim simple compared to most I see, but I still stream with it. There you go! So we're all kind of, like, approaching it in our own way. That's one of the exciting things about it, is that everyone's... Everyone's kind of doing their own thing, finding their own way. And we all get to see everyone's different takes on it. Everyone's is slightly different. Yo. Not bad. <gasps> you fixed the sketch? What's a PNG tuber? Um. Hmm. How could I demonstrate? 
I think I know how I can demonstrate. Hang on. Do you still have me? I do. I made Vixie's be a PNG tuber. And I made one for me too. Did you know that? How do you make one? It's pretty easy. A streamer who uses static images that are automatically animated using a program like VaderTube. Yeah, VaderTube is probably my favorite example. There's also PNG Tuber Plus. I wanted to make one of those. Oh, oh no. No, get off the big screen. Who gave you permission to spawn there? Wasn't me. Okay, you guys ready to see my PNG Tuber? Hello, this my PND tuber. Him named Scrunglefin. Bah, bah, bah. The boy. The boy. Blah, blah, blah. But that's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> that's how you get started. Just two images. I don't even blink. I don't blink. My eyes, they get dry. Dry eyes. Oh. Okay. Boy, that was weird. That was weird. <laughs> but you don't just have to have like a, a scrungly one like that. <laughs> Beauty beyond the imagination. Let's see. I got another one. Yeah. These were the sprites I made for Kit. Or Kit Vixie. And like, they're pretty cute, right? She got one expression with her mouth open, mouth open, eyes closed, mouth closed, eyes open, mouth closed, eyes closed. And then I made a couple of different expressions for her, and she still streams with this, with this, and it looks great. Cute indeed. Yeah, I thought it was cute. I was very happy with how those turned out. So damn cute. Mm-hmm. Here's the link. Yeah, thanks, Pisces. I think we're almost ready to build the body. Should we build the body? Happy health. Hey, no problem. Thank you. So yeah, VTubing doesn't have to be super pricey to start off with. But what really counts is, do you like the stream experience? Because streaming is safe for everybody, you know. And it's a skill that you can develop over time. But if you already hate it when you start make when you just start, that's probably a warning sign. That's probably like, you know, something to take into account. May I share my PG? Oh, please do! Is that a guitar? It is! That's what we've been modeling today. For the sake of, like, showing off, uh, <laughs> Saber Charlie's VTuber. about ready to oh start on the machine heads yeah that'll probably be next you can commission <laughs> thank you motive 
No services available yet. I should put PNG Tuber on there, shouldn't I? As an option. If people want them. How do I approach this? I think maybe the... Yeah, the tube bit first. Circle. Wait! Do I still have selected? Box cutter. What? There we go. Curved on the top. Maybe a box would have been easier, actually. Because it's got a curve on the top, but also have a circle on the bottom. Switch to square. Bop, 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 bam. I think I got it now. Because what you want is the beveling up the top on that side. Full segments. Ba -ba -ba. Then the bottom, you want these ones to be beveled. This is Monster Hunter, but I can't help but think of liking. I can't help but think of like Final Fantasy VII. I don't know. I'm not sure why. Oh, this is Kirby, I think. It's Chill Video Game Music Part 5. It never leads us to more, like, hype music. It just leads us back to chill music all the time. Maybe it's trying to tell me something. It is your destiny to chill. You are the chill knight. There we go, we're already getting the right the right shape out of it. God damn, these are these are handy tools. Ba 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 ba. Alright, then we gotta add circle. And now I'm gonna move that circle. In fact, do we Maybe we actually just need another mesh circle. bring out Scrunkle Finn much, so you guys, <laughs> you guys have been privileged to witness him. Are there any other PNG tuber programs like VaderTube? Uh, VaderTube's the, like, the big reliable one that I recommend to people, but there's also PNG tuber Plus, which has more options, uh, which obviously requires more work, but you get to have more options. So it's a trade-off on how much time you want to, uh, spend much work you want to do. Very blessed indeed. <laughs> blessed. Bless. Bless. good about this. It already, mostly, looks like the thing it's supposed to look like. That doesn't happen very often. Maybe I am a 3D modeler. Put 
but I wanted to be a 2D animator. Why? Why did it turn out this way? Anything that's free other than beta. Oh yeah, dude, like, um, you should do Borchi the Rock Instruments. Ooh, I need to catch up on that show. Uh, like, if you get Vroid Studio, you can actually make a 3D VTuber for free with their tools. A lot of people do that. There's some, there's people who do commissions in Vroids as well. You know, that's one, that's another very valid route to go down. Um, and then you can use something like VC Face and a webcam, and you can use that and that that's free as well bro let's watch oh <laughs> uh, i'm down <laughs> i need to finish uh i need to f catch up on freyren as well sorry that took a while pretty simple yeah let's go let's see yep png tuber uh, are these the same image? Oh no, it, it looks in different directions, yeah. Because they repeat, like, uh... Yeah, blink. Instead of blinking, this one looks back and forth. And kurzek has got one that, instead of blinking, it, like, plays the gamepad. Which I think is cute. <laughs> I guess if we were watching on a call on Discord, it would mean, like, I could also be working. Which a lot of people don't find acceptable. In most circumstances, which is... You know, correct of them. When I'm talking, the eyes look at. Oh, that's the talking frame. I see, I see. There's a lot of uh, tutorials you can get out there on how to use VC Face if you're having trouble. I'm not sure what level of. Um, computer savviness that you have, but it's generally pretty easy to figure out with a you know, sitting with a tutorial and checking it for a bit. I do a blink frame but I go, ah, okay. I kind of like that though because you've got a non uh, traditional way of indicating to the audience that you're talking to them. That's pretty cool. If I could do it, anyone can. Seriously. <laughs> Yeah, VTubing doesn't have to be gated at all. Like, it used to be animation was, hey, I can draw a picture and I can make it move. Now, you can draw a picture and it can be your cost. You can dress up as the picture you drew and, and act as the picture that you drew. Kind of look at an evolution of the whole process. The whole process. Ba, 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 Bop, bop, bop. I think that pinches in. I'm correct. We want linear because this is machine stuff. You're so excited when he pick up. <laughs> These are the voyages of the starship Enter Her Thighs. Space. The final Brazier. <laughs> Hello again, I just had a wrestling match with Eastland and Prettier. Oh. I hope you won. Oh no. How'd she come? Just like it. Yeah, yeah. It took an hour, but I did win. Yes! You got it. You got it. You dominated. Honestly, I think I'd be happy just contributing to one of those big productions like once. 
even if it was something like a like a has been hotel. So I just I've spent so much time with pop culture around me. I want to participate in the conversation one time, if nothing else. Does that make sense? It doesn't have to be the best or the biggest or it just I just have to be like if you look at history I was there. I was definitely there. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Not that I wish that anyone that I know would not have that same opportunity. A lot of them have had that opportunity. I'm just trying to keep my I'm trying to train myself not to um, get discouraged when I hear about stuff other people are doing. Because that's a that's a negative attitude. That's a bad frame. But it can bum me out sometimes when like I meet yet another person who's been like, oh yeah, I worked for that studio and that's I'm like, what what is it that I did wrong? <laughs> or they won't look at my stuff, or you know, whenever I try to go and make a portfolio piece, something interrupts me. To be one of those people who gets to tweet, here's a shot I worked on on thing, you're like, yes! Oh, hi, yours. You get the 100, but yeah. I figured you would. I want to be where the animations are. You have people in studio work right now? Oh yeah. I feel that fan solidarity from work. Oh, thank you, Kieran. Also welcome. <laughs> Go back from gaming. Oh man, people are piling in now. Hello. Want to wish you a great rest of the Oh, thank you. I think we're one bit away from having these pick up. Oh no, we got to do the other side too. That'll be fine. That'll be easier. Keep bugging them. I did. I did as long as I could. I can't bug them now because I committed to uh, seeing through the um, business program I'm a part of. So like, I tried for a full year. Um, it was not a great year for animation in general, but, you know, maybe I'll, I'll return to that round when, uh, my mandatory time with the business program is over, because otherwise, otherwise they'll be like, uh, hey, we noticed you took up a job with another company, you're giving up on the business. Burn Twitch and Browse Twitch are out of sync. Oh boy. Burn Twitch is usually out of sync. Whoa! Whoa! I'd like a second set of eyes, please, sometime. Oh, oh damn. Oh, okay. Um, do you see any anatomy mistakes? I gotta say, I don't think I do. I think this is beautiful. Mm, I see a little tangenting, I think. Because you've got this impressive bust happening, but because of the way it's sort of leading into the arm here, we're not getting the other side of it, so it just kind of looks like the boob stops. N anatomy. But I love the pores. Uh, let me finish up on this part of the guitar, and I'll be with you in a second. I'll give you a proper... proper drawer of it or something. Not that I think anything is wrong with it right now, it's just like, if I had to pick one thing that I could help on, uh, that would be the thing I'd be like, ooh, a tangent. I always find myself making tangents by mistake. Also, before I do that, I might need to take a little bio break. Then we can sit down and really, you know, n jump into it. Dude, Kieran, Hard Ops Box Cutter has changed my approach to hard surface modeling completely. I feel like a different person. Got a bio too, yeah. Yeah, no right. Oh, thank you, thank you. I've been staring at it for too long, so I can't stop my spot like that. Yeah. I'm gonna buy Charming. Yes. Ha ha ha. Very good. I 
I do plan on keeping bugging them, but I thought I had an in with one one of these companies. I, I think that turned out not to be the case after all. And then sometimes, like, I'll be applying for those gigs and I'll see the actual stuff they're making. I'm like, I don't actually want to do that. And if I was there, I'd be telling them that they were doing it incorrectly. And then I realized, ah, maybe that is why um, I shouldn't be here in this space. In other places, in other cultures, that's apparently a plus. That's apparently something people look for in a director, which is a role I've done before. But in all the places I've been, they're like, stop causing trouble. I'm, I'm not causing trouble. I'm pointing out the problems. I'm trying to, like, anticipate your needs. Hello? Ah, yes. The seniority problem. It wasn't even- I was apparently the senior director in that one. It wasn't even a matter of, like, the other people- it was more like the producer, like, wasn't really an experienced producer in the context of what we were doing. And that's not his fault, but, um, there were other people around him telling him, do this, do that, and I was like, I will tell you, but once you've told me that you don't want it that way, I will do it the other way to the best of my ability. But I will let you know, um, I believe it's my responsibility to let you know if I think that there's going to be an issue, and I would, frequently. <laughs> Whereas other people, they just were like, nah, this is a job. Nah, I don't care. Whereas, on an anime production, I'd be happy to be like, nah, you just you tell me what to do, I'll do it. Because I would be in that- in that context, I'd want to be there to learn. And to grow myself. Yeah, I'm gonna call that... reasonably done. I'm gonna wind down for bed, best of all- oh, thank you, Caramel Cat! See you next time. Oop! <laughs> Thank you for the lurk. Thank you for joining us today. Best part about arranging it like this, I think. I'm gonna leave one of them uh, just there like that, but we arrange it just like so. Oh! Thank you for the, for the hydrate. I will. Actually, gotta dehydrate in a minute. Actually, more. More on that one. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll do. What do you think about this, though? I'll rotate it. Oh, oh. Line it just so. You're not bad. Pretty good likeness. I can add an array. Where's my array? Yeah, there we go. Noticed something. This is pretty cool too. Now I can actually simulate the internals. And I can mechanically do this the way it would have been done on a proper guitar. Which is to pinch in, extrude out. That's actually how that works.
I guess one other issue I've had is like, I need people to be very literal with me about uh, what they need, and a lot of uh, a lot of people in positions of recruiting they don't understand. It can be difficult to be ADHD in those contexts. I feel this in my own right. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick fire break. Uh, do you guys want words? How many how many have we got for you for words? I feel like people have been fading off of words lately. I could just go BRB. I don't want to come back and be you goes, We lost again! You don't deserve that kind of anguish. How do I share a picture here? Uh a lot what a lot of people do is that um, they will send a Discord picture to themselves or on a server and then they'll copy the link. Words? Okay. Chuen says words, we're doing words. I'll be back after that. Gonna get myself, uh, have myself a little stretchy and, you know, buy a break, all that good stuff. Enjoy. You and your audience, play live. That's how I got my picture. Mmm. I'll be back. Oh, oh.
How's it going? How we doing? I see a drawing of Monkey D. Luffy. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Nice, vibrant colors. Good pores. Where did Fanry go? Why does he ask when I come back? This isn't the proper, ah, oh, the proper, you know, collective term.
Dress with one S. Dress. Put an iron there, you'd have desire. Aired. What do we got? What do we got? Reds! Nice. That was a lot. We skipped two skip three levels! Let's go. Continue. Uh hmm. I know that's not gonna do it. Turn. Nate, which we need an A for. A tote, like a tote bag. Uh, I know that in Kingdom Hearts, nauted is considered a word, but probably not here. Everything is safe. <laughs> Enjoy the next level. I'm sure we will. Let's keep going. Continue. Turner would have worked. I was locked. Ah. Huh. Cat. Oh, damn. That was fast. On the catwalk. so happy if this makes it in. If it's a recognizable word. Let's do it. Let's go. Yeah! That was whack. <laughs> whack. Like the, the flash method where you just put every combination in at once. We've definitely gone to the next level though. I just typed in every possible combination. Sometimes you find words no one knows exist. Ah, oh, that's true. 
Who here knows what an aglet is? Ah, aglets are the little bits at the end of shoelaces, and their true purpose is sinister. Watch out for the fake letter. It's not one of those. Ooh, winged! So it's, it's the U then. Don't put a U in any of your words. <laughs> dying. Mm. Whining. We're dining. Jine. Enig word. <laughs> The Riddler was feeling very conflicted that day. He went to write one name and wrote both of them. Nude. No, no you. You is fake. Oh, wind. Water. Heart. Wendy. When'd he go? I wonder what the second word next to winged with the same letters, same number of letters was. Wine good. Hey, Fever B. Eos is in here. Oh! <laughs> Hi. Yeah, head empty. Smoke. Uh, this one's kind of weird. But we can get some of the words right. Oh! Pose. Nice. Did someone say my name? It was on screen for a second, yeah. Sidearm. Poise! Ah, oh, nice. Very good. Very good. The Q is definitely fake. <laughs> getting close to- oh. Damn. Not in the dictionary yet. Give it time. Emos! <laughs> plural. Plural. What's the plural collective term for a group of emos? A sadness? No, that'd be goths. Who is? A sigh. <laughs> that's perfect. A poem of emos. Ugh, no, no, that's too goth. Morphing about it. Oh no! I'll play some other games. Others? I haven't checked out the other ones. Ah oh, well. GG. Go to level 8. Our high score is 19. I don't think we're going to overcome that because I think the wave of interest in this game is mostly abated. Anyway, let's get back to what we were gonna do. What I promised. We're gonna look at... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna look at Juen's thing. Why's it gone? I just thought of something terrible for a group of emos, and I'm crying. <laughs> Wiggly Piggly, um... On VRChat. Ooh, cool. Um, welcome on board the Lycos. If you'd like a tour of the ship, uh, let us know. Now's a good time. 
but otherwise, get comfy. Words was a little mean, this Garant. Yeah. It'd be like that. It do be like that. I've got the original illustration. Oh, uh, wait. You know what I can do? Because this is a very good thing. It actually lets you... See, when you do a redeem like that... Oh, oh no. Hold up. They actually preserve the message. I can go into... Here it is. Wanna have a field day on a Twitter post? Oh, do tell. I'd love to. So what we're gonna do now is uh, Joanne's asked for help with their banner image. And I think most of this is working great. But I also know that they've got some nice underboob action they wanna have here, and that it's it's tangenting the arm. We can just, we can just alter it like, just slightly, just slightly. Oh, Bjorfra. No, I've been on this account already. This is where I found all of the, um, the meshes, like, absolutely having the same kind of, uh, same kind of topology. It's kind of depressing, this one. And this is the one who said, I'm doing this because I think it's disgusting how much Power Lord glorifies animal abuse. I'm not sure that's... If, if that... So it's not for the artists, it's not for the people who've been ripped up, it's because, oh, I, I disagree with, um, animals in games doing stuff. Granted, there's some grim stuff, but, like, giving someone an option in a game is not the same as advocating for that action in real life. Sometimes it's emergent gameplay, sometimes it's, uh, you know, a result of the systems. Well, that's emergent gameplay. Sometimes it's, um, you know, thematic or, like, mechanical in nature. This is insane, yeah, I know. The fact that, like, the Lycanroc one really is upsetting, actually. Like, if you look at it up close, look. You can literally, like, phase the two meshes. Mind you, what we have to take into account here is that, um, you can resize the meshes to do this, but, like, the Lycanroc one, that's, that's pretty damning. It's different proportions, slightly. But what I want to know is, are they actual rips? Or did someone just, like, get told, hey, base all of the meshes off of this style, and then they replicated the style really well? Because the tail's not in the same position. I don't know if it has the same amount of vertices. People, taking the ladder out of the pool does not mean the Sims game is pro mode. That's Yeah, exactly. Doesn't even mention that you can capture and sell NPCs in the game, which 100% would be reproachable by most people. Games aren't supposed to be, um... <laughs> games are, like, fictional settings and games are not supposed to be subject to the same moral standards. And that's not me saying I advocate for stuff that's in this game. I'm not sure exactly how deep it goes, but I think that some people tend to have the reaction of, like, there's GTA in which you ca you are doing crime, does that mean you're a criminal? No. Um, there's also stuff like, in Wave the Samurai, um, you are led down, you are encouraged by the game to go down one of three pathways. You go with the people, you go with the, uh, the, like, the Shinsengumi, like the Samurai Police, or you go with the Yakuza. There's three, three major, like, pathways. But if you do, if you just go around killing, the game gets mad at you. And it sends a bunch of guys after you. And I've seen some people take that, like, the fact that it has a reaction when you do the wrong thing, when you go around indiscriminately killing, and makes, like, a mode where it just sends endless hordes after you. It takes that, they take that, and they say, this is the game advocating for that behavior. What? No. I forget what shooter, but you be a terrorist in a plane, right? You also need to look at player choice versus what games push your force. Yeah, um... Capturing humans is not actually incentivized by Pal World because, um, one, you have, like, it does actually say we frown upon this, but it's, you know, a property of emergent gameplay, so we're not taking it out yet. 
I don't know if they will or not. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Being able to, like, someone tries to wreck your base and you just capture them. But also, um, they're very difficult to catch compared to monsters. And they're kind of shit if you, like, try to have them work on your, um, on your base. Like, they only have one attribute and it's doing handiwork. It's not farming. They'll, like, maybe help you fix a hammer or something. They're not re So the game is disincentivizing that behavior. That would appear to me, as a game designer, the kind of thing you'd want to do. They're very difficult to get, aren't very useful, and those with guns can't- Exactly! See? The construction games aren't automatically pawned because people build dicks- Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, that's actually quite different. But like, this is all just... This is the same kind of thing, like... Yeah... The designs are very, you know, close, in a lot of cases. I'm not disputing that at all. The relax hand. Yeah, the fact that they've got the same count of vertices, that is pretty sus. It looks, in this case, to me, it does look like this is a mesh that has been, um, you know, sculpted and bent in a few places, pr kind of roughly as well. They remodeled it less nicely using the Quack Summit as a one to one topology and proportion reference. Expensive content, huh? It's different. <laughs> what? Why was that censored? Oh man. Most useful humans are the vendors because they stay vendors. Yeah. And, you know, if. <laughs> That's just. You caught the shopkeeper. Well, in Way of the Samurai. You can kill the Biwa players. The Biwa players are how you go up and save the game. If you kill all the Biwa players, the game soft blocks because you can't save. That's its disincentivization. I feel like we need to take that on good faith sometimes. Okay. Like, I... People being able to do with it, like... I, I guess... Is that an issue? Do people have trouble understanding that in general? I don't advocate for the, the piracy at all. Um, in this case, in the use of, like, we literally, it looks like we're literally taking Pokemon meshes that were ripped and we're, like, using them. I don't like that at all. Um, I'm hoping that they take the opportunity that they've been given, that they've been afforded, with, like, millions of dollars, and quick smart update those meshes, update those designs to be just a little, like, less in the style. They've got the money now, for sure. Alright, so I'm going to do a little breakdown here. I actually want this to be a bit bigger, please. Sorry that I had to punctuate your, uh... Your help me senpai with that. I'm just... I'm upset about it. And... I wish there was something I could do. But I think some people are also using it as an opportunity to be ridiculous. So we... When we're complaining about a problem... We need to have the integrity of addressing the problem and not trying to like lump other problems on top of it. It's like when um, when Pro Jared went public with his divorce, that was shitty. It was shitty to the, pe the person he divorced. Yeah, that's shitty. But then someone came out and tried to accuse him of way worse stuff. It turned out not to be true. So it just became a, a dog pile of, on Twitter. It caused a lot of problems. Not that I'm a big, like, Pro Jared supporter. I just think that, wow, that was... That was an opportunistic time to just kind of, like, mess that guy's life up. I don't have to be a fan or a friend to support that people deserve, like, the right to, you know, guilty until proven... It, uh, innocent until proven guilty. How dare you do that to pals and humans? This is... Racks a rocket to a car. <laughs> exactly! See? Play piracy from corporations was one thing. Plagiarizing and claiming it as your own is another. Yeah, true. Hey, Tiny. Good. I like how I'm not even bringing up the Palwar thing and it's, it's persisting. Should we play it? <laughs> Should we just, like, open it up and have that conversation as we play? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do you... 
I'm not even sure it would run alongside my, my thing, but I'm tempted a little. So, what I'm trying to avoid here in this one... I'm gonna lurk and co work. Hey, nice. It's such a great... It is so fun, which is the tragedy of it, is that anyone in the space could have made... And it's also a tragedy that the, the designer has advocated for AI on several times. I don't like that either. So they're clearly like, I have a goal in mind and I don't care how I get there. Not great. It's perhaps a moment that they are... Uh, it, but also because of the language barrier, I think a lot of the discourse around AI art hasn't really... hasn't really hit in Japan the same way. I'm not aware of the discourse around AI in Japan, but I like to give people the benefit of the doubt when they don't have English as a first language because they're probably not privy to the same information as I am. And there are a couple of times I've been like, yo, that's how, that's an interesting use of an AI game. Like, there's this game Bloodsucker, which I've been meaning to play on stream for a while. Because I can break the whole thing, aren't I? <laughs> so, I want to avoid the the bobs getting tangented behind this arm here. Because you've got this undergroup thing, and we need to be able to, like, get a bit of seeing of that. Also, while it's back, during the divorce... Bro Jared X wife was like, hey, I made this apology, this cosplay for one of my stupid ex-husband's DD videos. I'm selling it for like half price because I want to go. Oh! Oh, you have the What? You That is an interesting piece of like internet uh history that you own there. <laughs> wow. What was the cosplay of? Does it fit? Did you buy it to wear or did you buy it to like collect? Drama tokens, collect them all. She needed cosplay based on this character of S.H.I.E.L.D. from the 80s D&D Oh, nice! That's a good cartoon. That's a good-ass show. So I should lift the arm a little bit to showcase the boobs. Well, the thing that I'm getting at is not you need to show up the boobs more. Is that, like, the form is getting lost. And it's kind of looking like there's just, you know. So we either need to accentuate the curve here so that we know that it's... You know, we can maintain a sense of where the form is going. If I wanted you to emphasize the boobs, I'd do something different. I'll show you the, the like, the design solution, and then I'll show you the horny solution. How about that? What I would do if I wanted to make it super sexual versus what I want to do in order to make sure it reads properly. No, it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. Can't get off this train now. And I was DMing a campaign based off the curve. Oh, nice. The smell Ahem. Okay. Gross. Gross. Alright, so we got the boo bitch here. We got the torso coming in behind it. We draw her spine. She's kind of like... Getting a little twisty. That's okay. We can exaggerate sometimes. I'm... I will defend those Mary Jane covers. But the internal art, like, you think comic covers are bad? Have you seen some of the internal art? Some of it's terrible. Hi, Greensy. We're going all sorts of places today. Never let it be said that I was afraid to, like, speak about that kind of thing, because some people are just like, no, we don't talk about that here. I'm like, hmm. This is the advantage of not having any filters. So oh, big. Don't get you started. Started getting into comics and I have regrets. Mm hmm. The cover art is the advertisement, the internal art is the disappointment. <laughs> oh, did I really say it like that? So, you either want to move the arm further down so that we can get that silhouette and maintain that the form is like that. But I don't like that. That's not as strong. So maybe we'll lift it further up. But if we lift it further up, we got to make sure that the elbow kind of like still allows for this bit here. This bit right here. That's important because that tells us that like silhouette is doing a lot of heavy lifting in terms of here's how the form is. Here's how uh, your understanding of where things end and when things move will be. And then we 
like join it up with this section here. Now we have an idea of where her bust is sitting. So I turn that one off and go the other way. Where we lower it down. We can keep the elbow in the same position if we want. But the point is, because we're getting this bit coming in, and then... Actually, you probably want to move that just slightly up. We want them... We want the shapes of the boobage to, um... To maintain that they are actually connected. Because otherwise, when we look at the original, this tangent's straight in. And I can see that you've gone to draw a little bit there. But it's very small. Uh, it's almost unnoticeable compared to, like, the line out here, so... It just kind of looks like... They don't look related, those images, if that makes sense. They're done by completely different artists! Yes, they are. Not like Mango. It is a series I'm invested in, and they're preloads for book... Well, they just released book two, and it's also a webtoon, so I know the writer artist team isn't even starting on the collection. Yeah. They really are do be selling uh, stuff before they've been making it. And then they probably get the budget for the book out of the pre-sales. That's not a great way to run a business. Jen, Juen, I appreciate that you know that boobs sag a little. Yeah! Uh, but if I wanted to make it extra special good, if you wanted to go like, oh my... You have, you have the boobs on top of this lower arm here. There's no tangenting available there. This is what I would do if I was being horny about it. Just so that we're clear, I can go that route. I wasn't. Don't, a don't ever doubt me again. We respect the boob in here, yes. Probably even need that to, like, cut over a little. I'm muting just to hear if I was... <laughs> Sorry, Smug, did I make you uncomfortable? I suck at River City Girls as much as I wish I didn't. Oh, that sucks. It's always, always time to practice, though. Or, like... You know, just have people bail you out. Because there's bailout mechanics. So, you know, you got one of three options there. Pick whichever one suits you best. It's a mash game, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting bumped! Okay. I'll take some screen caps and we'll post those in the critique area. I hope that helps. So that's, we take longer the better. Yeah, that would just be, that was literally the only thing I saw that was even needing tweaking. I'm honest about it. I don't I actually don't like that one at all, but at least I demonstrated the point. Yeah, actually having her pushing her boobs up like that is kind of better than all the other ones I did. Oops! But you get the idea. I'll, I think I'll raise the arm, lower the shoulder, and move the elbow. Okay. I'm putting two of them in the critique area. Give me a bit on saying the pros. Hell yeah. I think I saw. Um, I think it was Vixie that sent me this. Uh, it's a channel of someone who does mercap, and oh my god, some of the, some of the pros that there are fantastic. You guys want to have a look? Really changed like my approach because I'm going to be doing full mercap soon. Yeah, yeah, it was you. Yeah, yeah. You are welcome. So thank you so much for that. So good. 
Um, what, did I, what did I have one of those up? Oh, that's where that I'm pretty sure. Oh, like Pirate Software's playing it, even, yeah. I bet if you play it, I bet if you play it, you get harassed, right? I bet if people will start coming in being like, hey, Twitter says this bad. And I'm like, yeah, I know, it's bad. There's a lot of bad stuff in it. I hope they're going to fix it. It's in early access. Let's just give them a shot. If he came out and said, I'm not going to use AI for any more of my games, but I don't think he will. That's a shame. That's a damn shame. And he cha they changed all the models. They announced they were going to change the models. I think that might be enough. I'm just going to go to my YouTube history. Sorry about this. i got to find what I was watching earlier. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. I found the channel. This is so good. Oh. One thing holding me back streaming it is I, my friends, I play it with. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to, like I said, I, I, I'm still thinking about, um, you know, uh, community events that we can do together. And one of the ones that I thought would be really good is being able to play specifically that game, like getting a uh, community server set up so that we could have a persistent world. And like, we could call it, uh, you know, the Lycros Away team. We could do an away mission together. Wouldn't that be cool? How many other games would we be doing that with? I'd be down, hell yeah. I think the only reason I don't have it ready to go now is because when I was looking it up, um, they were doing, I think there's, there's some updates they're waiting for to in include like dedicated server stuff. And I can't, I'm not gonna share my IP address with everybody. It would have to be, like, a passworded server. Let me see. Yeah, this is a Chinese motion capture artist, I think. Yeah, oh. Here we go. Breeds like she moves the way an animator animates, which I find really interesting. And they're also taking further like video from multiple angles, so that's definitely going to be used for reference on top of the mocap itself. Absolutely smug, I agree. I guess we'll see what happens with Steam, right? If it gets like taken down, then it'll mean Steam has found that uh, they plagiarized. So there'll definitely be an investigation underway. A lol capture? Maybe. I don't know what particular um... This looks... This reminds me more of Overwatch stuff, actually. She literally looks like an... Right? Isn't it cool? Such skill. Character acting is a skill. And look at how the attitude swaps. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> you thinking Genshin? It could be. I wouldn't be surprised if they did some work with Miyoho. She does the bounce when she's standing still for some- Yeah, I like that. The idle, like, bounce movement. Like, the, uh, the breathing. You actually have to do that. Animation is movement exaggerated so that it's easy to understand and perceive. Check this out. This is the reason I wanted to order that treadmill, but I'm gonna have to wait until next commission now. Because I wanted to record a bunch of different walks at different speeds. Because right now I'm u still using a Mixamo asset. I don't want to use a Mixamo asset. I want my own walk cycle, damn it. A bunch of them. Look, there's a zombie walk. That stumbles really good. <laughs> yeah. Carrying the sword. 
There are a lot of great channels, but these are great. Yes. It's art. Yeah, pushing. The fact that she can do such an amazing... Oh, the kitty. She can, like, sell a push without actually pushing against something is pretty incredible. Sneaky, sneaky. I think I recorded a couple of these, but because I was doing it without a treadmill, I had to, I had to walk in circles. If I could get my treadmill in my motion capture area, I could be doing any kind of walk cycle. Oh, oh the three classes. What if she studied mine? Definitely studied some kind of motion. She might be a dancer. I'm definitely seeing some fit, like, dancer body. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, like, in that one, the way she, like, the minute she would release the bow, her head flies back as well. Such character. Ah. And that's important, like, you wouldn't do that if you were actually arching. But animations that go in games aren't about being realistic. They're about telegraphing to the player, right? Motion artist? Yeah. Um, and so, like, having your head jerk back might not... It's not realistic, but it is... Um, it does sell the motion, and it signifies to the player the, the arrow has been let off. It's all about making super readable stuff, which means you have to exaggerate in some really interesting ways. And she's definitely got a ha handle on what that means. <laughs> These are also short, too. Yeah, I'll share the, uh, I'll share the channel in the chat. I'm gonna put it in resources as well, because I don't want to lose track of that, even though I'm subscribed. God damn. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Broken a jar. Hello, thank you, thank you. Always good to have you along. Tutorials and resources. Yeah. If you think of receiving an award as a motion capture before and after comparison of becoming a motion capture artist. Oh, can't get Turpaz. I'll transform into Turpaz myself. Is Turpaz from a a Genshin game? Oh yeah, and look at that. Oh, That works really well. You can see that she's like... Her, um... Her acting work is allowing her to like, perceive... The non-existent character. She's doing really good sensory work there. That's what we call that in acting. Star Rail! Ah, yeah. <clears throat> so she's definitely done... She's on the periphery of Miyoho, if nothing else. I don't have hand trackers that good, though, so I'm gonna have to manually animate my hands. Ugh. Gross. There you go. I found that really cool. I'm gonna go through all of these later. Okay, we can close this now. Uh, do not save. Have you seen the videos of that guy doing the gun from- Yeah, I have! So cool. So cool. Let's get the music happening. Wait, did I? I turned the music off. And there's a bunch of discourse about Pal World on my timeline. I'm not even... God damn it. God damn it. I'm gonna look up a game soundtrack. I think someone mentioned it. Oh, yeah. That's right. Thank you, Danko. Yes. Good, good, good. That'll do it. Or maybe I just want the uh, Metal Gear Rising soundtrack. Nice. 
atmospheric. Silence? Oh? You can't hear anything? Was there a video going around of someone imitating loading animations for different everyday objects? Probably, yeah. I remember those. <laughs> to go around. I mean, I'm not going to judge you if that's what you want to do with your time, but... Yeah, I think this guitar's coming along well. It's time to do the headstock. Commander Keen! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it the original Commander Keen? Is that what he does now? Is that the retirement plan? Wish I could show you my NDA. Oh, man. Don't we all? Don't we all? I'd sign one. Like, some people have done NDA work in front of me. I I'm not a knock about it, but I understand that you can't, like, show stuff off whenever you feel like it in a lot of those circumstances. Hmm. Don't appear to be sitting quite right in either case. I'll like just move stuff later. It is time. Let's make that box. I forgot to make the nut. I'll make that part of the headstock. Don't worry. You guys know which part of the guitar is the nut, right? I don't have to explain that to anybody. That's fine with that context. Good. I'm looking post in the Discord. The nut! Yeah, yeah. You know what it is. <laughs> Everybody knows what the nut is. Wait, why is the texture not showing up? Oh, it is! Okay. Cool. Where's the spray? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Not at all over the stage. No. Don't do it. Come on. Oh yeah. my blender now. Oh, oh. Oh, we're just having trouble with that. What the? What is this shape? Custom. Oh, no, I don't want custom. I want box. Just, just the box. And that's fine. Hey, teacher, I've... Hey, Renee, what's up? How can I assist thee? Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei! Hearing you encourage me to get back to Blue Mixer to try it again. What is a V-Gen? V-Gen is like a... is like a marketplace for people who make various uh, commissionable goods. Including, but not limited to, stuff for VTubers. I know it's kind of excessive using a cutter to get that exact slant, but I wanted to get it right. Bean Rotive's already a powerful, powerful uh, 2D artist, so if they did 3D, my god, they'd be unstoppable. I don't think gonna do all the DMC games. That's crazy. Can't wait to 
see that. I have it, and I don't know how, and I know how to use it, but I don't know. It's overwhelming to me. Is it the um, the amount of options and stuff? Because I did find that myself in the beginning, but the way I got around that was my note-taking process, where like, hey, if I need to do something, I've written down the steps as I understand them, and I can refer back to that document anytime I like. Carve out a small object. Focus on the basic details. Oh yeah, this is as far as I could get. With the dip. Yo, this is not bad. This is not bad. There's a good solid basis here. It's just like, uh, because we're looking at like a character like this, uh, there's obviously a lot of like solves in 3D that you need to do to get a character like this to work. Yeah, this is already great. I'd add some uh, some more edge loops here and there, but on the whole, you've got the right idea. Awesome uh, texture as well. Is that a fan? Hey, Kaz! It is! I'm making a guitar in Blender. Because I've lost control of my life. Oh, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Nice! How you doing? How's the pixels? We've got no shortage of pixel artists in the chat today, I think. I don't know how to do anything. It's all strong by it. Okay, now I think I want to bevel this. If I get back to it, I'm gonna cry. Well, okay, then don't do it. Leave it to peeps like me. If it must be so dramatic about it. Oh. Hush. <laughs> Push it by now. Take my strong hand. I know this about myself. If I complain, it is a good sign. It means I'm gonna do it. Ah, oh, yeah. You're not gonna let that punk program just leave you like this, huh? You're not gonna let the blenders win. Box cutter. If I just bevel from the top here, maybe it'll give me what I want. I saw these few people doing Mega Man Legends models, and they are all wrong. Ooh, what's wrong with them? Have you actually had a look at the original meshes? Because they're very basic in a few ways. They're great for the time, absolutely, but, you know, very basic. I have. Why are we listening to a Cthulhu ritual? Uh, we put on the Devil May Cry 3 soundtrack. Seems like the thing to do. But, like, the expressions are wrong? Uh, yeah, Mega Man Legends had a really unique way of handling expressions. And some of them were, like, so unique that they were unique to the, um... They were unique to... The cutscene that they were in. So, like, there's some teasel bond sprites that only appear when his face is at a certain angle. The sideways look best. Yeah, they were pretty good. The fact that they managed to adapt that into 3D in the 90s is crazy. Grabbing like a collar. Ooh, yum. Yeah, that. Hey, say. Yeah, yeah. That teasel. Yeah, yeah. I did do these over the. I mean, ooh. Sneak peek too. Oh. Why could it be cold? Sometimes it gotta be cold.
I think I'm going about this the wrong way. Maybe I do actually need a circle uh, cut there. Because that bit looks flat, but, you know, maybe I'll get that out of a circle anyway. No! Yeah. But, but to make a Mega Man Legends Supply Game... Oh, you and... You and me and Eorus all together have one... <laughs> That's... We've all got one of those dreams to make that Mega Man Legends style game that never came out. A familiar pattern? Okay, I'll take a look. Where is it at? The whip channel? All oh, right. No, I saw these. The splatters, right? That's it from yesterday. But like, I don't want tank controls if I make a project like that. We have evolved since then. Since the dark times. How uncivilized. Legends 2 fixed it? Yeah, it did a bit, didn't it? Gallop that. Hopefully I can get those motion soon. Mm, okay. Uh, I could probably do another couple of cuts and then just edit when I, you know, apply them to the mesh. Yeah, okay. Keep going. Problem is, it's cold and I've slipped my schedule. Oh, no. Yeah. So you're awake when it's the most cold. Yeah, yeah, there's too much, like, meditative atmospheric music in this soundtrack. Yeah, you guys are right. Let's change it. Oh, Guilty Gear Workout Mix? Don't mind if I do. Yeah. What rock? Hell yeah, dude. Did, no, this this is Guilty Gear workout mix. Now, butt rock has to be contextual, right? You can't just butt rock all the time. You got to butt rock when it's appropriate. But when it is appropriate, when it's the right moment for butt rock. Nothing slams harder. The Jirop song from Doug's- Oh no! It's from Guilty Gear! That's perfect, actually. Rising made it cool for me. Rising. I should play some Guilty Gear game. It's a technical fighter. It's not like jumping in on Street Fighter. But yeah, it's pretty good. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say that's all sort of closer to Thrash. You love Soul? Ah, everybody's Mr. Bad Guy. Yeah, he's pretty good. I love his design. He's got so many cool, like, uh, bits of iconography on him.
He's just his guy, you know. Wait, you mean it's more technical than Street Fighter? Yes, it. Yeah. And nipples. <laughs> nipples. Sorry, did you say Naples? No, I said Naples. Oh. What is Street Fighter? Street Fighter is not super technical, on a basic level, anyway. Like Street Fighter is like, hmm, not to you can't. How to describe? Uh, it's kind of like the the beer. It has quarter circle joystick. Yeah, that's the basis of most fighting games. It's the prototypical fighting game. It's the Mario Kart equivalent for races. Races out of Mario Kart as uh, Street Fighter is to fighting games. And I love Street Fighter. I just want to tap the buttons in the deep. So you like tap tap forward moves and not like quarter circle? Because, like, what you gotta remember is that with the D pad, it's very different to how the controls were originally meant to be used. Because on the D pad, it's thumb, eh, slide thumb. And then button. But at the arcade, it was pull throttle down, thrust throttle to the right or the left, and then punch the button that's like the big friendly button next to it. It's not the same. Your thumbs get all sore. Yeah. Get a fight stick. <clears throat> and your thumbs blister. Yeah, I've been through that. I've definitely blistered my thumbs playing Street Fighter before. And you never play again. No, I played again anyway. Well, my home console is an arcade cabinet. No, but it can. It can have a fight stick. You can get an uh, you can get a fight stick for your console. I've got one. I think what I want to do is pull you up. Okay. Oh uh, no. Oh, cool, come on. Oh, yeah. You make one out of a tuple. <laughs> you actually have built some arcade sticks. Now that you mention it, I've got a flight stick, a tablet display, and a view. Oh my god, that's a lot of gear. Schnur. Oh, we talking fight sticks? Yeah. Smug was saying that they don't want to do quarter circle inputs on on fighting games. That's kind of like the basis of the modern fighting game, right? And if that's an issue, the fight stick is where the move originates, so that's that's why it might be a bit tricky with a D-pad. Although I can do it with a D-pad. It took me a long time to tr actually transfer my fight, uh, my, like, uh, gamepad skills with fighting games over to, um, fight stick. Still, still not as good, actually. And they say, huh, Morris, there's like, the discourse around that is usually, haha, ha, if you see someone using a D-pad, uh, you can laugh at them, you can like, tease them a little, but if they're at a competitive tournament, don't look them in the eye, they are, they have climbed the mountain the harshest way possible, and they are to be feared and respected. Like, oh, that makes sense. I've only ever used a fight stick on a case that was never good at them. Yeah. But my point wasn't that, like, everyone needs to use them. It's just, like, that's the reason why a lot of people find the quarter circle move awkward on a D-pad. It's because it's designed for a fight stick. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to press ac accelerate on a race again. <laughs> I enjoy... I remember enjoying Soul Calibur 2. Soul Calibur 2 has a lot of, like, uh, command inputs. But yes, Soul Calibur 2 is, like... Soul Calibur 2 or 3, best Soul Cal.
How's that looking? Oh, ho, ho. not bad. Not bad. Where's the other? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, ooh, looks like I missed a spot. Very nice. Thank you. It's looking like what it's supposed to look like. Sort of. I knew it was a good idea to leave the body for last. And the back kind of has uh, a weird scallop here, so we might have to do that as well. But these box cutting tools. Oh, I love them. Where was, where was all this when I was first trying to make my stuff? My ship would have been better with these, but, you know, I had to learn somehow. Oh, you know what I forgot here, though? I want... Uh, circle cutter. That's how these work. Cool. A little weird angle. Fox has been around for a hot minute. There's always so much to learn with 3D. So many add-ons, that's true. I'm very glad to have it, though. I think I've... I've got a lot of Blender plugins at this point. It's almost where I'm like, maybe I don't need to update with every version, every release of Blender automatically. Maybe that's a bad way to live. Wait, what? Why isn't it cutting? It's supposed to cut. Oh! Fnac! Currently dealing with an eBay purchase, had bought an elusive chair when it showed up the headrest was broken in a way that leaves a shard of plastic at the nape of my neck. Currently trying to get my money, but oh damn! I'm sorry, dude. Hope the chair situation is resolved soon. Do I not have a yeah, cut a 15. Yeah. That's so strange. Where's the hole? That was supposed to put a hole in it. Hmm. Oh well. Still manual install new versions now with LTS options it makes it easy to stick with one long term for a particular Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Shit. Shit. Costa. Yeah. Actually, I think they're actually leaving my country at the moment. Costco. They got shut down. Ca couldn't tell you why. I did not pay that close attention. Alright, I guess it's time to scallop out the body. Not enough customers. Really? Huh. There you go. Huh. Oh! No, it's a circle! 
I need a box. Fuck, 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 fuck. What's in the box? Costco roasted chicken. Can I post the update? Oh, yeah, please. You're not quite an analog acceleration, but it's still fun. Oh? Ooh, we got a little love heart now, too. Hey! Yeah, much better. Oh, watch out for the tangent with the el the like tip of the elbow and like the middle of the borba. But you should be good from there. Colors will help. You hit the borba more. <laughs> As is their want, they're allowed to. You can show as much or as little borba as you feel like. In an ideal society, anyway. It does look great. I love how much, like, style it has. Like, it's got a lot of your personal touch. I don't look at it and go generic anything. It looks, like, totally your own. I might need a side shot of a BC Rich Warlock now. They got this, like... This sort of odd looking bevel. I'll probably do that after I finish carving like the basic shape out of it. Yeah, I could probably do it like that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay. So now we're gonna start cutting. I remember hearing that Costco in the UK was mainly accessible for specific jobs, teachers, doctors. Costco in the US, I went to, was very different. Walk in a bulk, buy a bulk of everything. They had one of those near me, I think. I only went, like, twice? Pretty crazy looking. That's gonna be mostly, yeah, like that. And then this one can be brought in to meet that point. Should be up like that, so that when it's bevel, I'll leave that there for now. I believe what new one for. I don't think they sell. No, they sell bulk items, sir. You know, you'll get a sack of potatoes that'll last you until the end of the century. It's like going to Ikea and not eating meatball. <laughs> meatball? Hmm. That bevel works. This section over here might take a bit more work. Yeah, that. This is horse riding music right here. You know, the hero charging through some exotic RPG. The kind of RPG I'd like to play.
Nice. Nothing beats the I Need a Hero Horses riding from... Riding Sean song from Shrek 2. Ah, oh, yeah, true. You think Mega Man X should have butt rock? Absolutely. I think it already does. It's just, you know... I mean, hang on, hang on. Stop the fucking car. In its own way, you know, because even though it's electronic instruments, this is kind of butt rock central. I didn't say anything about X Command mission. Gotta dash. Oh, bye, Smug! Thank you for stopping by. You've even got the keyboard section. It's not over yet! <laughs> I loved when they put in, like, like genuine, like, fully animated cutscenes. This was peak Mega Man for me. Peak 2D Mega Man, anyway. I've beaten this one, like, four or five times, I think. Commander, stop the coup! Never! And for some reason, the Repl Force Commander is just... He's got an Australian accent. <laughs> Tell me that's not like MIDI butt rock. Come on. And then all the music in it is like kind of that as well. That's how I hear it anyway. Have you listened to the. Ja that's not the Japanese version? Totally did. Oh shit. We're having another like. Not the X-Men situation, is it? Oh! Okay, so it's a bit more pop. That's okay. This is like an anime credit scene, though. I actually figured out a timeline of events. Some guy named Roshan buys the chair from Lenovo, the headrest broke, and returns it to Lenovo. They kept it in their returns warehouse during the liquidation of the eBay seller event, bought a large amount of Lenovo stuff. A return. <laughs> There's a little bit of rock in there. But you know, but it's pop. It's pop rock. It's different. It does hit different because it's more centered around the like Iris character. It's still got some good, nice that nice like anime style um, chord progression. that key change. That's an anime intro kind of stable. Does the arm raise more? <laughs> I guess! I had no idea. It's like, uh... This one... This one had a different intro too. It's more pop than how to play. Yeah, it's definitely... It's definitely like an idol song. So someone got... I, I think I found the ROM for this. And I got had the US version. What's wild about this game is that... Um, Spike Spiegel, Cowboy Bebop, plays Goku. <laughs> An alternate English cast exists. Hey, 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 hey. 
really showing up that the PlayStation was a CD player. All had openings with Japanese singers. I ain't mad at that, no. What? Well, I'm not sure what point you're trying to make, though. Like, do you think it should be, or shouldn't be, or is there a tone that you're particularly looking for? Final bout! Yeah! None. Okay. There are some nice hooks in this song, though. I want to know... It's really hard trying to track down who made what song. Especially when it's to do with a video game studio or a dubbing company, because they'll never tell you. <laughs> Bow, 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 bow. Bow. So then, like, I think the Japanese version is real different. Yeah, I think that's just the menu music. Oh, yeah, way more pop. I love the... Yeah, the game had a great intro animation. This is unfortunately an upscale, but... EXPLOSIONS! Yeah, they put the sound effects back in. This is very on brand for Dragon Ball in, uh... In, in Japan, though. But the one that they released in America is very on brand for what they were trying, trying to do with Dragon Ball Z when they brought that over. This is more... You like... You prefer this? Oh, bye, Eos! Good night, good night. Sweet well. Uh... The trumpets. Yeah, they do like the, the brass section, don't they? Oh, Atsui! Mexico did not edit anything. Oh! Yeah, yeah. So you got the uh, Spanish dub. The Spanish dub I've heard a bit of, and it does seem really faithful. And I kind of respect that. As much as I do, like, Rock the Dragon is still a great intro, though. I'll show you one of my, like, PlayStation-era favorite intros, but it's such a lie for the final game. I wanted to love this game so much, but it's just, it's very slow. Here we go. I look while I get some dinner. Nice, nice. I'm gonna get some food soon, too. This is a game I, like, I picked up in, you know, I saw some footage and people were talking about it, so I checked it out. It's got, like, three different branching pathways, but one of them crashes. So I haven't really finished, finished it. It's mostly because, likely because I grew up in it, but I love Rock the Dragon. Yeah, Rock the Dragon, I think, even if you didn't grow up with it, might not be the most Dragon Ball song, because Dragon Ball has, like, a lot of, oop, oop, like, pop kind of music sound to it, but it's still a, it's got a good hook. You just put this in your PS1, you're like, I'm ready to heck up some dragons! Tapping. Boy. Oh, here comes the whammy bar. Theoretically, really cool game. I actually quite like the control scheme that they have for it, even, but uh, <laughs> the intro it is way not that fast paced. Because you get into it, and, like, there's some... There's some problems, dude, with the menu system. A oh, long play library. This is long play library's playthrough of Dragon Valor. Oh, that's a sound I haven't heard in a while. 
Legend of Dragoon? Oh, yeah. So then you get through that intro, and you hit start, and it's like, here are... Here is a long opening crawl. Fair enough. <laughs> Reprising the theme song in a slower, like, contemplative version with, like, a harpsichord instrument. I actually do still like the, um... Like the basic controls, but it would need it would need reworking. It's got the, like a Castlevania kind of cuts cutscene style. All of that, all of that Z trembling too. What I did think think was cool about it though was like depending on who you get close to as one of the characters, you then become the descendant of the two that marry. <coughs> so like in one playthrough you might uh, marry the princess, in another playthrough you might marry the like farm girl. You end up having a different uh, uh, different child, and then you, when you play as them, their like life is different. Let's actually see some gameplay. Oh, this is what I was talking about. The shop. Holy shit. Do you want, like, the shopkeeper to stop you every time you select an item? And then instead of being able to choose an item, he'll just list what items he has available. What else you got? You have to, like, say no to the first item, and then say, okay, what else you got to get to the second and third item. It's, it's, it's real stupid. <laughs> Yeah, but some of the way, like, they use the the triggers to, like, change, like, add aspects to your moves, it's pretty good. Like, um, if I recall the the way you play it properly... Oh, man. This, like, if you, uh, your sword was like, oh, oh, Photon! The, the luckiest subversive, thank you so much! That's almost a year. <laughs> How you doing? Oh my god, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. It's very kind of you. Uh, so you have, like, square is your sword button. Um, but if you hit square and jump, you'll do, like, an upswing. If you hit sword and, uh, and jump, and then on the way down, you'll do, like, a slam. If you double jump it, you'll do... It, yeah, it, it, I'd actually have to play it to explain it. It just seems to make sense, you know? Because, like, you have your sword button... And then you have, like, um, a descending button, and pushing the birth- Yeah, you do the little, the little, like, stabbing motion. A baker's dozen of months, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you, uh, you had a- You had a run button that you would hold down to run, and if you tapped that and sword, you could do, like, a stepping, like, fast blur. It was pretty cool. Some- there's some neat little controls in there. And there was, like, a plot that happens over multiple generations because dragons are immortal. I was at AGDQ all last week, having a great time. Really? Oh, man, I've always wanted to go to AGDQ. Let's get back to actually, like, what we were trying to, f to do today. <laughs> Did you meet anyone we'd know? Or just, like, folks you've been following for a while? Wait for SGDQ? Snow Weather does not agree. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, it's not like my options to travel uh, are overly abundant right now, anyway, so. I guess I'm just tired of, like, my local events being, you know, kind of a letdown. And I'd like to do more international events again, but that costs a lot of money. Speedrunners are a unique group. Nice. Yeah, they see. It seems like a really supportive community. Like people aren't in the. There's no one in the speedrunning community who lasts very long. Who's like, I know the best speedrun, and I'm keeping the tech all to myself. They're like, nah, nah. Check it out. I found this tool. Everyone get on it. Let's get a new record. 
I love that kind of collaborative, competitive spirit. Alright, we're back to cutting this body out of a regular block. The guitar's really good. Thank you, CJ. I like to think so. Bring it out. Now, do I want this down here? I don't think that's a scalp edge. I think that's just a normal one. Yep. This is such a good way of sculpting for me. This makes... This is another way that makes sense in my brain of like, first you model, then you cut pieces of the model out. You think you should try sculpting on Blender? Uh, depends what you want to make. The way I'm going about it is even different to sculpting. The sculpting tool is completely different. But if you want um, Mega Man Legend style models, you're going to be looking at doing a lot of ma manual like pushing around of uh, vertices because you don't get those shapes naturally. I uh, try to think of it like uh, Papercraft, maybe, where like you're creating a a set of paper to fold. Have you done Papercraft before, actually? It's an interesting little art form. Some people have even used papercraft as a as a means to create some stuff. I see UVs as paper. Yes, exactly. I I like that. Yeah. Oh god, no, not the custom object again. I wanted just a regular box, please. What's in the box? There's a paper craft add-on for blending. Ooh, really? I know how to do paper craft. That includes book craft. Oh. You wait for pizza to cook? Oh, yum. Oh, you guys are making me hungry. Doing UVs? UVs on my coat. I'm putting a model on a killing me. Well, I'm not doing UVs, but... Someone in the chat might be. <laughs> but it's a good way to think of... Uh of UVs. It's, it's just paper craft. Used to be paper craft boards where people would post all their favorite creations. I know that at least in one case they used 64 uh, models. Oh, thank you. I'll hydrate. They used Nintendo 64 models, and they'd, um, turn the UV maps from those into foldable, constructible, like, cardboard projects. I did UVs for the third time in my life just because of the crest chat. I saw that you were working on that in the preview. I wanted to jump in, but it was, you know, I thought better because it's late at night and I'll end up wanting to talk with you all forever, but... Is there, is there something going on with the chow? I never got mine, but... Different software for different things. If you want to do CAD, use Plasticity. If you want to do inorganic modeling, Blender. For organic modeling, I use ZBrush. I find ZBrush, in terms of user interface, pretty unintuitive, but I think you're probably right. If you can learn to use it, it's probably the best option for um, organic modeling, from what I can see. I just force Blender to work for me. <laughs> I'm so glad the lightsaber hilt I modeled recently was more agreeable than clothing. Oh, nice. I found it really funny that I taught Vignette how to do UVs before I did them more than two. <laughs> hey, if we're even five minutes ahead of somebody and we can help, then it's good that we can. That is funny, though. Do you use any uh, plugins for your UV unwraps, or just you just raw dog it? It took me like an embarrassingly long amount of time to realize that uh, seams on a mesh were a thing, and now I'm very grateful, but also a little sheepish about it. Do I want a box to scallop these out or not? 
Zebrush was what I started with, and it's like being born left-handed, and you just kind of do it. Ah, yeah, yeah. The stream you spent- NICE! Oh, man. That'll be good. I wanted to put the little Fen one in here so that we could have, uh, we could give you the artist role. Actually, yeah, we were supposed to give you a bunch of stuff recently. I'M ABSOLUTELY RAW DOGGING! <laughs> Just raw dogging that UV. Mm. Um... But I think, I think the reason I didn't go through with it last time was because it was, it was EP time, I think. During the last Metal Gear stream. Right, give me that cutter. I'm currently working on a design doc, and I go to an anime image and see Canva now has AI image. Oh, that sucks. I mean, yours and my channel model. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, if you ever need me to, like, I have tools now so that it makes um, rigging a bit faster. So if you have anything that you need to like, uh, like just just to toss me the baton on so that you can get it working in an environment like this, you let me know. Don't be a stranger. People are strange when you're a stranger. I have that song in my <laughs> You just gotta listen to it eventually, I guess. I guess I know what I'm watching tonight. Oh? think the sculpting is good for a dragon um again it kind of depends on what you plan on doing with it once you've finished i guess that's another unintuitive part about 3d modeling is that you can't just get in there like with a drawing and be like i'm gonna play i'm gonna see what happens you kind of have to have an idea of what your end goal is before you jump into it because otherwise you might go about optimizing it the wrong way and by the time you've realized that it's probably like easy to just start a whole different model Hey, what's your bin lenser? I have not, unfortunately. Not for lack of one and two. Bro. <laughs> watch it when you can. Okay. I did watch Ranking of Kings. I'm just behind on my anime in general right now. Two scallop. That's a bunch of scallops. It's coming out. I can see the form coming out of the wood. Oh. There we go. Wait, I'm actually looking at how you're doing the. <laughs> this is a uh, hard ops box cutter. Well, this is box cutter, and I'm also using a hard ops. They're boolean, like, non-destructive modeling tools. You can jump through a sculpt fairly loosely and treat it like a sketch layer. Oh, that's true, I forgot about that, yeah. Yeah, I got it in my head that you need to do it all at one go, but... Shnu knows what he's talking about. So slightly. Mm -hmm. That looks great. It would be a real rock pirate. Oh, I don't think I'll end up using it. Maybe I'll put it up as a as an asset people can buy. 
So you're just chunking it out? Yeah. I was trying to use a sculptor more for stuff and things are very unoptimized to jet. Yeah, you kind of need to, like, if you're gonna do a sculpt, um, which is a different type of tool in terms of 3D, um, you'll often end up doing the sculpt and then having to, like, make a mesh around it that's optimized for animation. Otherwise, it could be in, you could end up in trouble. Chunking it out. Oh, chunk. Oh, slab. Excellent for visualizing. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Absolutely. Bolt Vanderhuge. Fifth Iron Stag. I want to make a game. I have no clue how, though. Well, YouTube's a good place to start. There's also, um, dev.games, I think, is it? Thor's, like, a uh, really cool website for, like, all those game development resources and, like, pep talks and stuff. Why you gotta be so cool, huh? Change that to along the normals. Local? Ah, that might work. Oh, just. YouTube University, my friend. Yeah, pretty much. You don't have to be a good coder. You don't have to be an amazing artist, you just have to, like, have an idea and the willpower to see it through, to execute on it. This is why I say ideas are fundamentally worthless, because without decent execution, they don't mean anything. Everyone can have an idea, not many people can have the grit to actually do something. If you've taken the step to make something, to put something out in there into the world, you've taken a step that 95% of people are too lazy to take. And they will make you feel bad <laughs> for taking the step, because they're like, if I don't, if I don't, like, point out that this is silly, then maybe, um, I will be the silly one for not having done something. So I must devalue. That can happen. Not always, but it can. You just gotta be aware that even people who wish well for you sometimes don't get it. And, uh, we'll do, you know, we'll have those little, like, kind of self-sabotaging beliefs that gather and coalesce in our minds. I've had people get mad because you... Yeah. No, no, I didn't want a solution. I just want to be upset about not doing it. Haven't we all kind of been there, though? With the power of AI, one day we'd be useless. Just like me, an action. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, you know, the mask is off and they're all admitting that um, people with ambitions who try to grow their skill piss the rest of the planet off. <laughs> that kind of hurt me. Oh no! Oh no! But the, the AI comment is, yeah, same. It's like, uh, this is also a thing in martial arts where, you know, people around you will notice, hey, you're acting kind of differently. Yes, I'm more confident and self-assured. Yes, but just wait, watch out, you don't get too violent. Uh, that's not why I do that, though. Well, good, but just make sure that you don't. Uh, what? What? Very strange. My life. <laughs> Literal psychic death. Yeah.
you have the same pet peeves as that. I, I never doubted for a second. <laughs> we have a lot of same brain moments, you and I, and I'm, I'm, I relish it, actually. I never understood those replies. It's, it hurts too, because it's, it kind of feels like, I never trusted you to begin with, but now that you have power, I trust you less, and now it's showing. I don't trust you to be a good person, because maybe if I had power, I would not be a good person. That's a dangerous one. You can kind of see that stuff playing out there. Like, when you see a tiny lady suddenly behind the wheel of a four-wheel drive in the city, with no context on how how to it, how it feels to be large and they just they get real aggressive suddenly driving wise that's the stereotype anyway that's not everybody nice this is coming out pretty good Back to our. Give it the right color. Warlock black. Which is actually purple. <laughs> okay. There's at least one color there that's not quite sitting right. Never heard that analogy? Have you run into a four wheel drive lady? Every time I see, like, an aggressive four wheel driver. It's usually a tiny lady in the, you know, this is anecdotal. Correlation, causation, all that, but like, I could understand why being very small, like with a small dog. Uh, small dogs can get yappy and bitey. A lot of that is times just because no one's respected their agency. So I'm not saying it's even wrong to feel that way. I'm just saying like, sometimes you need a minute to get used to being suddenly the biggest per dog in the park. Not everyone's ready for that. Is this based on a real guitar? It is, yes. The BC Rich Warlock. I might be ready to, uh... Hit a glider on that, on the booleans. That bit kind of worries me, though. I wonder if that's a property I can fix. The Warlock is one of the better guitar names I've heard in a while. This is a classic design. Like, this is not a new design. Not quite as old as the Flying V, but it's, uh... You know, I think that they're all the same ilk, you know? Do it. Apply the modifiers. I'm just checking for, like, bad topper. Like, this point here, we don't want that, because we want to bevel Arthur. I want to make sure that I'm doing it all correctly. Wait, there shouldn't be a bevel there. Oh, it is between two, two shapes, though. There we go. This is a problem I know a lot of fighting classes have to deal with, where a lot of AFAB's been raised only to suppress, never to limit, so when they finally do hit, they're less likely to know how to hold back in the ways they might need to. It's an issue with sociological... Yeah, yeah! Um, we often found that when we had um, AFAB tra practitioners, um, and they started to learn how to use their bodies to throw a decent punch, uh, they would have a lot less of the socialized upbringing that AMABs have, where we would be told, oh, uh, don't ever hit anyone, and if you do, hold back a lot, because we naturally grow up with, uh, like, we tend toward larger muscle mass. But, truth is, um, it only, it does not take much weight to, uh, to cause a problem for someone. If you have, like, more than 30 pounds of body mass, you can probably, like, mess someone up pretty badly. Because a lot of that martial arts stuff is about transferring of weight. I 
It's art! Thank you. Thank you, Saber. Alright, I think... Oh... Yeah, let's apply them. This did not take long. This is this is all started midstream today. Can I just go. What's the shortcut for apply all? There we go. Anything to not do your paper. Shoot! Shoot! It was required! I can do the paperwork later. He says. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll, I'll get him to do that tonight. This purchase reminded me I want to make a drum set. Oh, you wanted to make a drum set in 3D? The drummer schnoo? Drum bit, yeah, nice, nice. I'd love to see that. They're all doing paperwork instead of art. <laughs> oh, we're opposite then. Opposite ends of the same guilt. Let's at least save. Not bad looking there, look at that! Where's that back panel going? Ah, I, yep, I see it. I think I wanted to keep this one a little ambiguous because this is where the neck has to come out of. And the neck could probably use a bit of chain. Oh, oh. Pick up a change. Together we are one functional artist. <laughs> oh, we're, we're true. Functionality. By your powers combined, I am executive function! Pizza was good? Oh, I'm glad to hear. Oh, we got ads. Watch out. What kind of pizza was it? Ketchup to mine. What? Is that how they do where you come from? Or are you the weirder? Gives it an extra kick. I suppose if you just wanted extra tomato paste, that's that's normal. Up, actually. Yeah, there we go. Recently found out that idle games, just was scratch that I want to play a game, but I don't want to play the game. My HD has never been more appealed to. Ah. They actually frustrate me, sir. What's wrong with my ADHD? Ooh. Yeah, we'll that ad. 
is coming for you. Be prepared to receive. I can understand that. Sometimes I only have left for a click the button upgrade. Oh, vampire survivors. Yeah. Slime Rancher. Hmm. I guess if I'm feeling that, I'll probably watch a cartoon or a TV show or something. That's where I go to. Vampire Survivors too late at night. I also need to bring up my reference again. Because what is happening here? Something's not right. Rep actually. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, the neck has that weird bit at the back that just sort of juts out suddenly. Forgot about that. Turn on proportional edit too. Maybe not. This is an interesting feeling. Like... Hmm. Nothing wrong with being tired and wanting to play something simple. My go-to simple game at the moment is F-Zero, though, so I'm probably not the best example. Zero nine nine go burr. Mine is full up for- oh no! <laughs> I hope my Bethesda talk does not offend you. Do you have time for brain chill? Yeah. I guess you could wander around, experience the environment, that kind of thing. I get the big world thing. That, that part I get.
No, you're correct. <laughs> Fair. I appreciate your, your honesty. And self-awareness. Tickle my brain some with Tears of the Kingdom. Ah, yeah. Let's see here. Good. Yeah. into this. Into the ads. If you hard playing games with hyper empathy, I just get so sad sometimes. You need games that are just unpleasant to let you finally be mean to the NPCs. Oh, so it's a place for you to explore your your darkest fantasies. I think that's a valid way to play. Every behavior that we have in a game or in a virtual environment translates to the real world. We've been having that debate for like nigh on a hundred years or something. Okay. Now for the big one. Be able. Babylon and trying to increase the amount, but nothing is happening. Why does it stop there? Why is that the amount of bevel that we have access to? I need more than that. No, the modifier is not going to do it. We're going to have to go traditional style. Evil branches? Oh. Well, I ain't gonna judge you for it. Big guys want to put me in charge. Why can't I just like cool? Stop kidnapping people, and making sentient robots. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Your fantasies don't involve um, holding power over people. That's pretty normal.
Just on the tips here too. Small amount of bevel. Wait, am I gonna... Hmm. Oh, there's already a little bit here. Never realized, look how wise I am. That's a bit of a stretch, but thank you. Here, we've got one more very important element on this build. Can anyone tell me what it is? What's missing from this picture? Oh wait, I haven't applied it to that one. No guesses? Okay. So we don't know what's missing. I can sculpt this bit, actually. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. I think I can even make the nut out of the top part there. Nut! Let it back. The nut. Hey, oh, nice. Almost done. Pretty good if I don't say so myself. Especially the humbucks and the pickups. Not like 100% accurate, but enough like at a distance to be like, yo, that looks like a guitar. Oh, uh, now I want to 
do an extra thing. This could be. Just rotate that. Oh, there we go. That's weird. Why can't I edit these, really? Something's messed up, yo. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Thank you for the snoop group, Juan. edit and just move them around a little. I guess we need more sub dips there. There we go. Down the bottom tier. Heck yeah. Yeah! Strangs. My brother has a very similar guitar. Nice. Pretty sick. This is probably not going to be aligned properly, though. Hmm. 
Oh, yeah, maybe I made the bridge too big. A bridge too far. Oh. Strings. Yeah. It's just that they got this, they're kind of dense apparently, so in terms of how many faces they have. Oh, thank you, Sabo. I was hoping you in particular would enjoy it. Glad everyone else seems to be enjoying it too. It does look quite nice. Them up. Ah! Like one, please. Thank you. Just grabbing some dins. No problem. No problem. I'll probably be doing that very shortly myself. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I'll grab a little hydrate. This way, hopefully, we can manipulate the uh, the strings as we see fit during a render. This is a good it's exercise for stretching my hard modeling skills. I think I'm definitely picking up on that. That front is, is looking not so bad anymore, not so intimidating.
context of each other. tool to work on those? No! Okay. Strange. I hate when one tool just stops doing its behaviors. And you'll have to go, well, uh, and I needed that, now I have to find what will work around. Oh. I think I can do there. Find that Bezier circle. Circle two and that one's gonna be Bezier circle number three. Four and five and six. Now we can do this. Oops. Wrong this. I didn't mean that. I meant this, hopefully. Yeah. Proper thickness. Perfect. Okay. Look at him go! I think he finished. Basically. <laughs> that means... Boom. Oh my god, it's so small! <laughs> it's good noise, thank you. Yeah, I can stand on that. I probably want to apply these all together before I start moving and scaling it there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but anyway, we got it. That'll be something I render tomorrow, I think. Check it out! In the meantime, I think it's time. That time. Let's go find where we're gonna drop you guys off. Oh. Where are we going today? You guys have a good stream? <laughs> Yo, 
Okay, I see someone that we haven't raided in a little while. It's also their affiliate anniversary. Everyone is appearing in my sidebar, though, I think. Let me have to actually look at my following tab. Who's on? Yeah, like, oh. Okay. Oh, man, so many people playing the game. Let's get that music off. We gotta get our raid anthem going. Time to raid! Yeah! Back in time to raid and to look at, like, the different thicknesses of the strings. I know, right? Yeah! Lots of people playing it. Uh, let's go. There it goes. <laughs> well, we made a guitar. Which is not what I foresaw myself doing today, but hey, that's somehow how it goes. But we did it! I'm gonna be in good shape to start doing some stuff on VGN very soon. In the meantime, let's go over and see what's happened on Hazenev's channel. It's the game. You know which game it is. It's that game that everybody's playing, no one wants to talk about. Let's go see how they're doing. Let's go wish them a good time. And as always, if you got anything out of this stream today, I'd love it. You can take that positive energy, pass it forward, keep the good flow going. Let's go, baby! Thank you, Shanir. I thought I saw that, uh, oops, we've run earlier, but maybe they went offline again? Great time. Hazen Nev, you might know, was also on the Rizla with me. And they're just having a good time. They're also an artist. Go wish them well. Whoa! We got 10! 12, 15, 20, 29 Raiders! Let's go! <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time! Bye bye